Hi everyone, Paul SM. Welcome to Tuesday Night's Live at the Bench Show. So, it's Tuesday night, it's build night, so I'm going to continue in the build of my Earthix Gloucester Javelin. So, I've been building this now for just under two weeks, I think it is, and it's uh, coming on really well. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, so, I'm going to carry on building it tonight, and hopefully, uh, get it ready for primer by the end of the night. That's the plan. Anyway, whether it goes that way, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see who's with us in a minute, and we'll have a look everyone's going to be building. Uh, Les isn't with us tonight. He's not feeling too good. And I don't think Andreas is with us right now either. I think he's away uh, from computer. Uh, but we'll have a look. We've got Brett. So, let's go. Hello, Brett. Bye. How are you? Good, how are you? Not bad at all, mate. Not bad. Um, what have you been working on tonight? I'm working on a Stuka. Oh, it's coming along well. Very well. Yep, I gotta start the second layer of camo. Yeah, dark you, green. You built that so quick, right? Really quick. Yeah, it was for me. It was fun to put together, so it went I, well. Yeah, I think I have to try and get back to mine. I think definitely. Yeah, once you get past that stage, it just goes so smooth. Once you get to primer, I'll be happy. Um, it's just a bit of a nightmare that first uh, assembly bit. <laughs> Fingers yep. crossed, I get past it. Let me see what's happening. Uh, All right, we'll, that, we'll pop back and say get on with that later. Sounds good. Always good. Yo, Dan. Can you get the camera right? Come on, Dan. Even there. I don't know. Maybe seven right. pancakes. Oh, 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 oh! We're going to Ivan then. Ivan. Hello. Holy shit, man. Hello. Hello. I'm I'm here. Oh, what was in that glass? This was a berry daiquiri. A what? A berry daiquiri. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Gonna get can another. Did it come with a free purse? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm only joking. Mate. Was it nice? Very sweet. Very sweet. It's all right. It's all right when you start off. When you got down to a bomb, it's like, oh, that's a bit sickly now. <laughs> we'll say nothing about that. Yeah. Uh, what are you working on tonight? You're going to be. Reading I'm going to be doing the chat. Yes, indeed. Okay. Excellent, because uh, Les is a bit poorly tonight. It's not too good. Yeah. Um, He's got a bit of man flu. Yeah, he's not too well, so I shall be manning the fort for him. Excellent. Cheers, Ivan. No and we've got Sam. Hello, Paul. Hello, Sam. How are you? I'm not too bad, mate. Not too bad, though. You're good. What are you working on today? Um, tonight, I'm going to be continuing to work on the McLaren <laughs> GTR Longtail. Yeah, excellent. How's it coming along? Oh, lovely. Beautiful little kit. That oh, really is. Um. Tonight I'm just going to be detailing in the cockpit, putting the seat in, and then hopefully getting the rest of the body in the prime Excellent. later on. Well, look forward to seeing that. Yeah, uh, that looked awesome. I've seen the pictures last night. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. Yeah, I might look, I might look at that kit myself. It looks great. It's a nice little kit. It really is. I enjoyed it. Cheers, Sam. Uh, no the minute Tim's um, making the smallest pancakes in the world by the look of it. But Dan's back now. Hello, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. Lieutenant. Can anybody Dan. see me? Yes, we can yeah. see and hear you. <laughs> That's it, then. What are you working on tonight, Dan? Uh, what I am working on, I don't even know what it's called. It's called a, it's a war armor. Uh, Razorback is what it is. Ooh. Wow, I did paint it. Hang on, I won't run camera. And you not see it on that one. Not see it on that one. Uh, I did paint it a while back, and it were blue, and I didn't oh, like it. Yeah. Uh, I've left Canon silver because they were golden. No, they were silver, but they were, they were all right. So I left them and uh, grenade launches and whatnot. And I've just sprayed all everything else. I've just rubbed it down earlier and quick blast the UMP prime, and I'm going to repaint it. I think. Excellent. Oh, right, well, cool. Hopefully. Andres. Andres is having a big cheesy dinner. He sat on the toilet, so it's fine. It does look like he sat on the toilet, I'm not going to lie. The guy is sludgy. You're going. Uh, are you working on Titan Dress or are you just joining us from the company? I'm just going. Easy for you to say. Say that again, Andres. Your connection has your pants down. <laughs> oh. I'm not. I'm just joining in. You just joined. Yeah, well, yeah, you're 
There's no blue <laughs> in the house, so I can't build anything. <laughs> oh, you need to rectify that. Yep. You need to rectify that. We've got somebody new watching in the chat. Let's let me read that comment at the very end. Vintage54. Hi, guys. You need to be here. Join your forum of the day, which is very good for us beginners. Keep the good work. Guys, it's supposed to be Thank you. Always good. Oh, Welcome, Vintage54. Welcome aboard. Always good to somebody new. Yeah. Uh, well, it's actually vintage. Oh, yeah, and Jason Smith as well. There's, Greetings. Uh, you can just purchase Edward to be a one hundred and ninety. After watching Paul's tutorials, can't wait to start the build. Paul and Chance are powerful soon. I'm waiting for one to <laughs> uh, have a good time. Yeah, it'll be out as soon as I can do. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, hopefully, the next week. I hope. Fingers crossed. Excellent. Right, well, I'm going to hand. Right, I can't see the top comments, so no. I had to refresh because we weren't live on YouTube. How so, no, no, the top comment I've got is uh, Matt Fifty Eight poured concrete. The crew is running behind me. Oh, I said I have a show to watch. Yeah, there's only like two comments before. All oh, right, I can carry on from there. Oh, what? I can't either because I refreshed. Oh. <laughs> I can't on my iPad though. Uh, my 58 said, what's going on? I said, hello. He said, hey, Paul. Sucks working with people who have no idea what they're doing. I said, evening. And he said, hi, said, evening, gents. Fat getting out here. Shoving as many pancakes into my face as I can before the show tonight. And, yeah. and then you should be able to read that now, Ivan. Cracking. Uh, so the comment Fred, Paul Concrete, the crew is running behind me. I said, I have a show to watch. Uh, JMCG, Manchester Airport, waiting for a fly. Extremely bored. Dear God, please start the show. Unfortunately, we are scheduled for half seven, so that's yep. when the show starts. And by the way, nice aviation wing at Manchester Science Museum. Uh, heard, I should not heard, Ivan mentioned it uh, in one of his vids. Very cool, nothing like back home. Yeah, the Science Museum in Manchester is actually really good. It's like That's where I got all my pictures for the Shackleton. It's like pretty, it's free as well, so it's pretty outstanding. Got your valent chat. Hello, uh, Devery Doody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but high altitude scale modeling. Good day, everyone. Welcome to our show. Oh, that guy again. No, oh, I know. Spammer. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm at Mission Chat. I'm in the house tonight. I'm so excited. Oh, and hello, rest of you plebs. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm flattered. Nice. <laughs> yeah, well. I know. Schwartz Grumman. Hi, folks. Hello. Yo, yo, Bob, yo. Not that Northern Modeler guy. I'm not going to read any of his comments. He's boring. Bob Bobbington, sup, good evening and hellos. Got Adam Scale Model, evening guys. Paul S, hello everyone. Richard, evening gents. Bob Noonan, hi everyone. Paul S at Ivan. Uh, <laughs> looks like my Meng T90 has been through a dust storm at the moment. Yeah, T90s. Right, I just want to, I'll put it in chat. I just want to clear up a thing. People have asked why I don't like the T90. Me and Andreas were in a buddy build together. He built... What did you build, Andreas? T90. T90. Oh, you bought the T90 as well. I thought it was a buddy build, Adam. No, because no, I thought... I'm sure you did the Chieftain. Oh, I didn't, actually. <laughs> you I did. built a Chieftain. Yeah, no, I, I built a Chieftain. As... Did you finish yours, Andreas? Oh, wait a moment. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's got pants on, so he's not on the toilet. Yep, there it's it right is. Here. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Nice one. I've not helped myself yeah, here. This was that, my last year's Christmas uh, gift for me. That's beautiful. No, birthday. Birthday, actually. Yeah, lovely. Birthday is for me. Yeah. I built this. built this in two, oh, to that's... honor our group build. Our, so our you builds. upheld your half of the buddy build. Yes. So, yeah, I decided I was going to do the T90. It was the Meng kit. Um, brilliant kit. It's, it's not a brilliant Well, you know what? Yes, the kit is good. It was just me. I didn't like the kit, didn't really like any step of it, but as soon as I got to the tracks, that when it that killed it for me. The they're, they're not glueless, um, or I've just assembled them completely wrong, but I followed the instructions. But anyway, from that point uh, point on, I was like, you know what, I've had enough, I'm gonna bin it. For the amount of grief I was getting, I'm like, I'm gonna bin it and end the story. That hasn't happened yet. So yeah. Uh Sharpie's model oh, sorry, I've missed one. Uh RCEHF fan. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing day. That's your right? RC fan. Oh. I'll, do, I'll remember that because I can't pronounce the last bit. Yeah, Sharpie's Models. Sorry. Ah, Lyle. 
I'll try and remember names. I've got to remember names now. Sharpies Models. Hi, folks. It's Howdy Doody time. What's John? Indeed. I, 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 Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> Me again. Uh, Andrew Callis. Hi, gang. That's Andrew. Um, <laughs> for less, um, thought you'd like progress updates on your Nemesis kit. Yeah, it, it, it does upset me a little bit to hear about it. Sharpies Models, uh, <laughs> you are, however, uh, encouraged to talk to other people about T90s if Ivan is within earshot. Yeah, appar apparently so, people like to do it. Uh, why isn't Ivan like the T90 from Bob? I've just explained. Oh, yes, I need something to lock pigments down on the T90 so they don't brush off. Uh, uh, Matt Varnish. There you are. Matt Varnish. Matt Varnish. SJ O'Neill. Oh, 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 you, you can set them as thinner. If you put the pigments down and touch it, it will set them to a degree. They will come off, but you've still got to give a bit of welly to get them off. That's how I like to put them on. So they're not there you are. SJ O'Neill, hi everyone. Uh, listening whilst at work, lol. How does someone rate this a thumbs down before it's even started? Believe me, people do. There are certain people out there who just like to do that. That old. Yep. Uh, more talk about that thumbs down. Show T90, that's T times 90. <laughs> I'm good thumbs down, they're all good to me. Yep, you clicked on the video, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Sam K, hi. Sam joins us quite often, actually. Hey, Hello, Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam showed him up on today. I know. Hey. Oh. <laughs> John M W. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, John. El Capitan. Oh, yeah. That is. Uh, I was going to say Captain. I was like, that's actually right. That is. Got his name now. Uh oh. For, I'm not going to lie. For all the times I've heard Les say Capitan, I thought you pronounced it wrong on purpose. Nope. No, I was, how wrong I was. How wrong you was. Shoppies models. Roxanne. Oh, no, mm. did it? Oh, no. What? I, should, I knew I should have got that one phone. Yeah, Roxanne. What's that? Never mind. <laughs> uh, Simone Full. Hi, everyone from Brisbane. <laughs> Hello. What the hell's Roxanne? Roxanne! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I nearly spilt my tea then. <laughs> uh, John, get yourself the Trumpy. I've, uh, I don't really fancy the T90 in any form at the minute. Speaking of T90s, I just bought a new Tiger Models one. Yes, you did. Modern MS version. That looks a pretty good kit, and it has a markup on the Meng, in my opinion. We'll Very see. Nice. One, day I, one day I will build it again just to... Well, it's not going to make anyone quiet. It's not going to make anyone quiet, is it? No. Nope. Uh, Paul, let's dive in. I did the tracks first, get the horrid part out of the way, and it does not sap the mojo. Uh, I could have done that. I should have done that. But I didn't do that. Uh, Calvin, I think the guys were uh, really mean to Ivan the other night, not letting him show his purchases properly. I think we should give him another chance. Oh, we got through them all, didn't you? I, yeah, I got through them, yeah. <laughs> Just about. John Harrison, hi, people. Hello, John. Graham at Robert. Uh, Sharpies with actor. Ah, oh, which actor sung that song and named the film? And that was Eddie Murphy's 48 Hours. Science scale models? Actually, uh, another. Oh. It's another 48 Hours. Oh. That we play. Close. Close. Well, scale models. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sai. King Dan. Evening, Gaul. Yo, Dan. Oh, <laughs> hey, Dan. Join us sometime. <laughs> John O'Neill. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah. Guys, Wilcox. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Uh, Grandma Robert had five F-15s fly over my house today. Ooh. Yeah, that was loud. Paul Shapland. Evening, all. Steve's Shed Scale Models, evening. Evening, Steve. No, no. Steve. He needs to change that to Star Trek Steve. Star uh, Chris mean, Henderson. It's good, good. Steve. <laughs> yeah, it, it, near enough. Good evening, all. Here we go again. Yippee. Yippee, indeed. Bob Bobbington, you've been ditched. Should have stuck wings on it and made it a flying T90. <laughs> yeah. 
Nah. Hey. Nah. I do currently spend an afternoon with my fellow modeling maniacs. My day just got better. Indeed it did. Unfortunately, you have to listen to me. This Lepster. Hi all. Hello. Norman D's in chat. Hello. Good evening, fellow sprue fiddlers. Good evening, the crew. Good evening, Norman. Hello, Norm. Normsky. <laughs> Paul S. Simon should set fire to it and take a pitch and call it the Flaming T90. I'm still, I'm, I still need to set fire to my Earthix set that uh, Dan keeps oh, pestering. Right. Sorry? Is there complaints? Complaints? We had two people leave the Facebook page yesterday because of a picture of a man looking his dick. That's a good point, yeah. Too many complaints. I remember the last time you set fire to a kit. Yeah, he's the ultimate meal. That came back to you, didn't it? My god, Dan Kiss, I'll do it all. Yeah. Steve shared. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Plus a five pound fine. No, it's not. I'm joking. Graham and Robert got uh, got told that the F one hundred four GS Starfighter was nicknamed Black Widow. Any truth in this? Yeah, because it's not the most stable plane. I think it needs to be a skilled pilot to fly them. I think it did cost the lives of a few pilots. That's mine. That's my opinion. Just check the scale model critique group build. Scale model critique group group build is four to five days, isn't it? No, forty-five. Ha ha ha. Ah uh, ha ha. Message retracted. Oh, I'm interested. RC fan at Ivan. Have you ever tried building the classic airframes Bristol Blenheim? I've heard nothing but bad things because it's a really bad kit that comes with lots of extras. But that's just what I've heard. Apparently the plastic's really bad, but it makes up for it kind of in what you get with resin. But I'd have to, I'd have to give it a look. See, I got it right here. Oh, you have. Let's have a goose. Let's see what's in this box. Whilst you're doing that, I shall carry on. Norman, speedy recovery, Les. Indeed, we all wish Les well. Yeah, he's in the chat. Yeah, he's in the chat. Hi, Les. Thank you, Les. <laughs> 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 Steve Shed, Scale Models. Evening, Brett. It's nice to put a face to the voice. Well, you say that now. Uh, Ronnie Langendorf. Hello, everybody. In oh, German. I'm a human. Hello. 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 Guten Abend. Uh, John Shaw. Lost Graham killed as many pilots as enemies. Lovely. Hi, John. <laughs> Chris Hughes. Hi from Ukraine. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hello. Uh, General O'Neill, not Black Widow, it was one of the Widowmakers. That was it, Widowmakers. Near enough though, isn't it? Quite close. Jeez, we're in. Uh, there is a lot of resin in this kit. Lots of resin. Lots and lots of resin. Uh, Graham and Robert wasn't sure, but got the 132 kit in my stash. I imagine that's a really big kit in 132. <laughs> Steve Shedd, free lipstick, Ivan. Uh, lipstick. What? I think he's re referring to my drink. Because, oh. <laughs> uh, General Neil, everyone, everyone get better. Many ill around the, uh, around. Yes, there are a lot of people getting sick. People. Yeah, lots of sick people at the minute. Uh, uh, John Shaw drank it too slowly. I even down one. No, it's far too sweet to down. You've been nursed to fat now, now. It's yeah. a sipping beverage. No, it's not. No, oh. it's not. Uh, it's, a, it's, a it's a cocktail. Yeah, it's a getting drunk as fast as you possibly can without realizing the drink. I'm gonna have another one in a minute. Was it a pink Shirley? No, it was a it was a berry daiquiri. Gorgeous. Yeah, a bottle of Corona in there. Simon eyes. Evening all. Hope everyone is well. We are all oh. fine. <laughs> Can't pronounce that. Brian Aldridge. Hello, fellow pov. Uh, yes, styrene mayhem. People are just writing words I can't say now. Uh, James Rutherford, how do you de decay everyone? Hello? Sergeant Bones, evening everyone. I can say that one. Hello. Hello. Ah, right. Jason Smith, evening. Just purchased. Ah, yes, you, Paul, you read that one. Yep. All oh, right, James Rutherford. That was uh, how do you uh, do? How do you do? Yes, not how do you decay. Yes, that makes sense now. Yeah. Make a mic, hello all, hello Mike. Uh, you've read that one as well. Hey, Mike. Uh, Joe's model kit, hello everyone. 
I uh, hope everyone is doing well tonight. We are doing quite well. Uh, Model Bow Einhorn, hello. Greetings. Lots of hellos. Hello. Norman D, Andreas, flush twice. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Scale Models, evening Paul and guys, trying to fight off a cold. Currently painting the figures on my M build. Uh, entry 7, the Sherman and the Kubel Wagon are mounted on a vignette base. Very nice. Uh, not going to read that, that's filth. Hello, everyone saying hello. Uh, James Carter, hello. hello. Andrew Morris, hello. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Yeah, Andrew, I hope there are no nipples on the show tonight. No, yeah. don't want people leaving. I've got two, uh, three. No. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, duh. hello all. Hello, Martin. <laughs> John Sharp's in chat. Uh, you're safe now, apparently. Uh, Lee, Lay, Ive, Lay, evening all. Good day, evening. Good day. Uh, Vintage54, many thanks and welcome everyone. Welcome in. Uh, more nipple talk. <laughs> more nipple talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Norman to uh, Guy, evening my favourite North African Belgian. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Andrew Thatcher. Hi, guys. How's everyone? We are all well. Norman, he will build the T90 also. Mm -hmm. your nice. body build. A plastic modeling. Hi, guys. Hello, plastic modeling. Mr. Stella Monster Daz. That world of plastic modeling. Uh, no, just plastic modeling. Oh, yeah, we got Daz. Hello, all. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yes. Certainly try. Okay, <laughs> Leslie and chat are talking about the alpaca red. Do I need to read all that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. <clears throat> right. The alpaca read the little duck's bill, which the hippo <laughs> poked the monkey's eye with a spoon full of alligator juice collected by <laughs> villagers near the equator on Tuesday with a full moon over Hammy. Over my Hammy, sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Uh, nice. If you want to join, dude, just join. I know, I know you, you're, uh, you're coughing, but if you want to come join us, just come in. You can just <laughs> hang back, throw in the occasional comment. Yeah, I'd rather have you in here. Exactly. Do you want to have it? So, so I've been this. checking out this Glenham here. I mean, it be your typical. Classic airframes build. There's no attachment points. Oh, so it's alignment like yourself, right? Right, but there are recessed panel lines and some rivets. Mm -hmm. A lot of flash and um, burring on the landing gear parts. <coughs> but the resin parts look amazing. Fully detailed. So, for a beginner, I'd say no, but for someone who enjoys modeling and has the time and the patience, I think it'd turn out nice. Oh, not me, then. Yeah. <laughs> like... Like the scheme it has here, that's really nice. Mm. I do. I love that plenum. I, I one thing it. that I do hate is it's got these two clear parts of the fuselage that you have to glue together, so you got uh, line down the center of the canopy. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's a bit. The engines look great. So I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner, but it, it'll build nice if you take your time. Very nice. Brutus that's Cypher. My opinion, just looking at it. Um, I'll have to give it a look because I know they sell it at my local. I have to go in and open the box. Oh. Never. Yeah, it wasn't expensive either, considering how much resin. No, not a pub. <laughs> Ye old pube. <laughs> Ye old pube. Brutus Cypher. Greetings, ladies and gents. Evening. Yeah. John Moss. John Moss scale models. Hello, the sprue type people. Lots of hellos, hellos, hellos. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Paul, that's a question for Paul. Uh -oh. Paul, do you have the What If Tiger Shark in stock? Uh, as I know it keeps selling out. Yes, yeah, we've got all three in, which is rare. All three of them are in stock, as far as I remember, anyway. I've got a fully loaded one on the way here. Me too. Me too. My second one. Body build. <laughs> Go on. No, I'm not falling <laughs> in that trap again. Um, yeah, all three of them are in stock, but if you want one, get one. 
as we always tell our friends. And there's literally under 10 airbrushes left. So if anyone wants an airbrush, grab one. God, they've gone quick, haven't they? Very quick. Wow. Uh, Schwartz Grumman. Uh, I'm looking for a 135th BMP2 with good quality and maybe an upgrade kit. Has anyone experienced or can recommend me a kit? Thanks in advance. BMP2? Yes. Uh, probably something in the trumpet range. Yep. Would be nice. Sounds a good call. Yeah. And they've What's done a. I know they've done the BMP3 lately. Well, a couple of years ago. New tool. Um, yeah. I'll have a look at trumpet. Okay, That's... good call. Yeah. Nope. Phone's making noises. Um, excellent. Uh, James Rutherford, uh, Ivan, I bought the Revel 172 T90. It looks a nice kit. Ooh. Um, just translated that from Russian, and it says, uh, Army on the scale, says Google, so that's what I'm going to say. Hi, friends. Javelin. Superb. There you are. Uh, John Hebborn. Hi, guys. Listening with a fellow modeler, Catherine. Oh, um, someone just messaged me uh, via the forums and they can't get on a live chat. Uh, so they're obviously watching. Uh, a, make sure you're watching on YouTube and not the forum direct link. And if you are, um, look down the bottom on the right and you should see a chat link. Make sure you're not full screen. There should be a chat link to watch. <coughs> and make sure you're signed into a Google account. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, indeed. Indeed. Uh, Matthew Bertles. Hi, all. I just sat eating food. Long day at work. Oh, long days at work. Oh. Not something not you food, is it, no, no, I don't know what that means. Paul <laughs> Shafflin. To work or long day part. I've got a 12 hour day coming Saturday. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, Paul it's not pushing. No, it's actually a split shift. Paul Shafflin, Ivan, no! And then back foot trolleys in evening. <laughs> Ivan, when are you going to do a vid on pa figure painting? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I promised that in December, man. Yeah, ah, but I, mean. I, said it, I said it'd be later in the year. We're still early yeah, doors, yeah. Man. You said it in December, which means you should have had it done already. No, later in the year. I said, I said upcoming for the next year. November. <laughs> I'll do it on December the 31st. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mini Dreams, Davidson chat. My tablet was upside down and I hit the thumbs up. So that means thumbs down? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Brutus, I've been out for a while. What aircraft is Paul constructing? Airfix Gloucester Javelin. Boom, boom. Oh. Ace is high. Oh, good. Call on the figure painting video. I could do with one of those 172. 172, no chance. <laughs> Not for me. No, I'll um, I'll do 32 up. That's that's pretty much it. Sadly. DG Old School Modeler. Afternoon all. Afternoon. Hello. Simon, so, mean, yeah, I've been working this figure painting. Later. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, right, I'll say now. August. I'll do it in August. There you are. Oh, big dear. Aha! World of plastic modelling. Evening all, here is one for Ivan to pronounce. That place in Wales... No, not the place in Wales again. No. Raisin. <laughs> Raisin! I can do the first bit and the last bit. I can't do all the other 27 letters. I can do the land fly and the go, go, go bit, and that's it. So surely that should count as a pass. No, it doesn't count. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> John Stone, hi all. Oh, sorry, I missed one. Mr. Gav, evening all. Evening. Uh, John Stone, hi all. I'm currently building the Meng uh, M2A3 Bradley with a Busk Exa model. Well done, Meng. Indubitably. Uh, Martin Pierce, hey up, everyone. Hello. Hello, Martin. Hello. Hello. You like very dark and green. Whatever the hell it was. 
<laughs> Timothy Vervest. Good evening, guys. Greetings from Antwerp. Antwerp. Hello. Hello. Belgium. <laughs> Ivan. I know. Okay. You were playing. I didn't know where Antwerp was. No, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, no, I meant uh, Andreas. Oh, where was he from? The other guy. Who? Oh, hold on. Where's the <laughs> Plinton. Hi, guys. Hi. Love finding your cards. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond hope. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Evening. Uh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Voice went there. Evening, guys. Watching your show since Coventry City try uh, try to lose against Bury. <clears throat> I'm trying to try my damnedest to make kit check kit work for me. I'm a real misogynist. Is that you or him saying that? Uh. Yes. Simon Eyes. Hi, Les. Battle through, buddy. Indeed. We wish you well. <clears throat> Gary Pashley. Uh, hey, guys. Hope you're all well. I'm full of flu. Wow, everyone's getting so ill. For the third time this winter. Not impressed, I, I imagine. <laughs> oh, F5, F20, T38, GB. Question, question from Gary. I'm saying nothing about GBs. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, a month to do that one. Not long, not long, long enough though. Uh, mm. David, Mr. Mini Greens, my wife saw the hangout link with Ivan all dolled up, <laughs> and asked me why a woman wants to hang out with a bunch of men building models. We don't know either. I replied because she does some great figure paint. <laughs> what? <laughs> does she? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear me. Nice one, dear. Sam Nice, waiting for my Apex. Can't wait to use it. God, it's brilliant. You will love it. Yep, yeah, John Sharp should have told her it was Ivan. Nah, if that would have been that would have been more weird. I'm a niche, I'm building a Tamiya 148 bow fighter, Mark. Ten <clears throat> any aftermarket seat belts that uh you chaps know of? What the, um Edward does one. Unpainted one. It's in brass. Mm -hmm. Mark, evening, guys and girls. Evening. Uh, Leon, hi all. Hello. Who's making that noise? Andreas. No, it's actually painted. No, it's actually you. <laughs> you can see. Uh, there they are. Where are Painted. you? Painted. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. Painted. Uh, now it's pre-painted, actually. It was the instrument panel was unpainted. Yes. Excellent. Yep. Thanks to number one. Hi, guys. Stretching sprue to make welds for my Mac uh, Ar Arculum entry for my end is nice, very nice, and failing miserably. Not so nice. Oh, I imagine it's quite tough to do welds, weld markings. I don't know how you do that. I'm an ish. I do a 12 hour day every day. It's not easy being retired, you know. The thought of it is making me a bit sad, to be honest. Two Tolls, <laughs> Two Tolls Model Car Garage, Taylor Braun. Greetings, this week I am continuing on my 1986 Pro Street El Camino build. Sweet. Well, best of luck to you. Paul asks question for Paul. Uh, Paul, thanks for the kit. Uh, thank you. Ah, thank you. The kit has been ordered thanks to multi screen on my tablet. Always helpful. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, which one did you get? Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Uh, I half built one of them. <laughs> oh, there's a surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprise. Um, to show up, so much for Sainsbury's portion size. No way this boat and chocolate cheesecake was family sized. Single serving, more like. 
<laughs> they're sharp, eh? we'll, we'll hear the backlash of that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sci-Scale Models, August, that's no good. Well, you know what, Simon? You're doing a better job than I, so maybe you should do the figure paint tutorial. Simon, do a tutorial. Boom. Boom. Steve's shed. I'll just call you Steve because that's your name. Uh, hoping to get the USS Enterprise buttoned up this week, then start putting on the decals. That was looking really cool lit up. That was looking yep. really nice. Very nice all lit up. Strike Eagle 15E. Good afternoon, gents. Good afternoon. Yeah. Chris Hughes. Sharpies models. Uh, you will discover, like me, one size does not fit all. Uh, oh. oh, that's a different show. Oh, dresses. Oh, less. Ivan's, Ivan's voice is starting to break. Yeah, I really need a drink, but it means leaving. <clears throat> John... <clears throat> go, go and get a slow, comfortable screw against the wall. Whoa, whoa. Right, sex on the beach. Trying, trying, John Harrison trying something new. Got the Rebel Viper. Going to do it in RAF style. Cool. Very nice. Uh, Paul S, I've yet to have flu this winter. You've jinxed it now. Yeah. Anybody brutal, brutal. Chris Hughes, Ivan, it's, oh, it's a masochist. I accidentally called you a misogynist, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> my... <coughs> Apologies. I misread that one completely. Sergeant Bones, I have, I have to shamelessly plug UMP Primer. The rust colour is awesome. Used it for the base colour on my uh, Tampi PIV. Uh, and then her sprayed over it and uh, with sand colour. The primer sticks like crazy and looks cool. It's it sticks like hit to a blanket. It is, it's an amazing primer. <laughs> uh, Anish, thanks, Andreas. Welcome. Uh, John Hebburn. Catherine wishes to know who the guy is with the nice voice. That's Les. He's not here. Well, that would be me because I sound like Les. It, it must be me because I've got my... It's me. I've got a voice. It's me. It's if it's the guy who's speaking the most, it's Ivan. If it's <laughs> the guy with it's the cool Ivan. American accent, it's me. It's, it's, Dan. it's Ivan, yeah. Dan's it's, not even talking. It's, it's, no, no, it's, a, it's the one with the four next to accent. It's Tim. <laughs> Andrew Morris, my ultimate airbrush arrived today along with some other UMP products, but I wasn't in, god damn it, so I have to pick it up from the post office. Is there anything worse than that? Well, yes, yeah, lots, but... You're not arriving. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paul S, I don't want the flu, and it will uh, reset my meds and knock me into 2018. That it will. <laughs> uh, Mr. Major Dreams, David, you're a great sport, Ivan. Uh, apparently I am. Uh, I'm glad you see the humour in my comments. Uh, too many take it in the wrong way and easily piss themselves and take something and start screaming. Yes. That I agree. There's one way to take it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, that was nice but dim tonight. I told you I pancakes, I think. Yeah. How long does it take to make pancakes in the UK? Don't forget he'll have to do all the washing up and tidying up afterwards while everyone else eats it. It, it took me five minutes, Brett. So it's just Tim. You know I mean? He's been going about an hour and a half now, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, it must be. Ah, there we go. It's, it's them He's French fans. Bye bye. There he is. Speaking of devil. Finally. No, you can stay, Andres. We're all five miles in the open, uh, Tim. Speak of the devil, I said. Oh, oh. You know, so where are you going? Yeah. I feel very. Uh, um, why are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. Oh, good. I thought you said you were leaving. I thought you said I'm going. Oh, yeah. Really? Speak of the devil, I said. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Cool. Uh, Lee Barlow. Hello, all. Hello. Oh, uh, Steve, Ivan. Can't you get one delivered? I could get one delivered. I've had enough deliveries. <clears throat> oh, I've gone right off pizza, me. Really? I know. That's just people diet for... A year. It's like about a year, isn't it? <laughs> Brad Pierce, good day from a very soggy Sydney. Oh, oh who's she? Paul S. Ivan, I've ordered the FA twenty C tag shock. What uh what if version loaded with weapons? That's right. the one I've got on the way, the one that's Brett got and Andreas. 
I've got it too. And yes, I think that's everyone. <laughs> Frank Randall just got back from the hobby shop. Got the quad tractor with field gun. Very nice. Uh, Johnny641. Hi, guys. Just putting in the final touches on the 30k contact to Dreadnought. Uh, I don't like to boast, but it's a masterpiece, lol. <laughs> the abuse I'd get if I said that, these guys would jump on it. John Sharp. Uh, <laughs> go for Sorry, a traffic though. light. <laughs> go for a traffic light, Ivan. Far more likely to have... Yes. Uh, draw dog. Howdy from the very wet North Georgia. Georgia. Yo, yo. Georgia. Stuart hey. Brenner. Good evening. Hello. Lots of new names I'm seeing. Brilliant. Hello, you new names. Hello, new names. <laughs> Leon, uh, what are you guys all working on? Uh, I am working on the Hobby Boss 172 ME 163B at the moment. I've got a 40 scale javelin. I'm working on, uh, I don't know what scale it is. It's a war armor 40k thing raised back. And I'm working on a 124 scale for Jamie McLaren, long tail, GTRF1. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm working on my 20, 30 second scale Stuka. Tim? I'm going to be working on the El Dorado. I think El Tim. Camino. Why do I keep quitting El Dorados myself? <laughs> I might be a little bit slow this evening because. This evening? The drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs do work. Get a oh, daiquiri. I don't know, but they make you a bit drowsy. Where are they? I don't know. You don't know. Little oh, the price is off. Hey? <laughs> Call the flu tablets. I'm, I'm working on an appetite. You want some antigens? I'm <laughs> digesting dinner. <laughs> Dark Rob, modeling, Rob, Jamie? Rob, Rob no, Axin. Like... Rob Axin, apparently. Peace, Rob. Dar Modeling, Jamie. Hello, everyone. Just got back from the driving range. What car was it? That was really a terrible joke. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. I'd say get <laughs> uh, John Moore Scale Models, just to mention, my Operation Torch group build starts tomorrow. Cool. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Friday, John. Yeah, it was, yeah indeed. Well, yeah. Shout out. That's, um, that's, a, that's a dash across the channel, that one. Tool. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I've, I've never read it on, to be honest. That's cool. Yeah, more, it was uh, sort of to do with um, Fleet Air Arms and doing the last stand to try and get the Sean Horse. The Sean Horse, that's cool. Through the English Channel. I think it's the Sean Horse. Uh, and unfortunately, pretty much all of them got uh, wiped out. Oh. Yeah, they tried, though. They're good. Some guys, they, they were flying in swordfish against the German art against the German Navy and they and they t did the best they could but yeah good though Mark um, time for another point three needle tip just shredded the thread uh, just sheared the threads when refitting oh dear what is oh. happening it with Mark Jeez. it's Timmy time everyone's saying hello Tim hello everybody Gary Patterson <laughs> Yes, gone off pizza. Hush your mouth, young man. I've, uh, I had it so much last year, just that sees lot. On pizza. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Steve, just popping off to make Bailey's pancakes. Oh, Bailey's. Mm. Make sure she pairs for them. Dave, Mr. Me Dreams. Uh, Loading up pretty long bench chat right now. It's 30 minutes. Sorry, so long-winded, fellas. Hope you all watch it and enjoy. Who's that? David missed mini dreams. Oh. I'm a chat just skipped, but luckily we're pretty much right at the bottom. Uh, Nick, evening, everyone. Hello, Nick. Uh, McVeigh, I assume. Nick McVeigh. I hope I've pronounced that right. If not, please tell me. Stuart, Paul, the more I see your construction of the javelin, the more I'm tempted to buy one. If I did... Uh, if if I did, I'd do the aircraft in the Boscombe, Boscombe down red and white scheme. Um, yeah, I'm glad I've got one in the stash. Watching you build that one is they makes me want to build mine, but not until that Stuka's done. Then you have to do the end of night build. That as well. 
John Sharp, uh, Dan, it's 28 millimeter scale. Uh, right. <laughs> right. It's that big. <laughs> that big. <laughs> oh, it looks right. That now you put blue on it. It's the same colour as my hand, nearly. <laughs> oh, it's a glove. I actually thought that was your hand, then. No, Silly. it is a glove. It is a glove. Uh, Stuart Bremner, haven't been able to do any modelling for a couple of weeks now, starting to get the shakes. Oh, dear. Oh, Gary Pashley, Stukas can kiss my butt. Mojo sucking level 100%. I've, <laughs> I've kind of got to agree with that Stuka especially. Who built with this? Don't say it was my idea because you actually made it a GB. Your, your idea. No, but if you want the form, it's Paul's Stuka build. Oh, Where is your Stuka right now? He's getting a little uh, <laughs> overconfident with himself right there. Now, just wanting it done. <laughs> the end is not. <laughs> John O'Neill, Ivan, how do you reduce this? Uh... <laughs> Oh, don't, don't ask me. Uh, John O'Neill, how do you reduce the stickiness to that Dymo in, bo uh, in Bose tape? Uh, Paul's using that. How do you want reduce the stickiness? Yes. I don't want it. Well, yeah, I wouldn't reduce the stickiness. I don't want to reduce this, this is actually cheap rip off Dymo off of eBay. It's 10 times stickier than the proper stuff. Uh, a lot better. But to reduce the stickiness, just keep coming there. Sticking it down and pulling it up. That's what cool. There you are. And that torch, Operation Torch, I think it was, was uh, Bismarck, apparently. Apparently, so. Apparently. <clears throat> and then Joe's Mother Kiss, uh, that's not Operation Torch. Operation Torch was the invasion of North Africa in November 1942. Uh, and that's what everyone else is saying as well. Ooh. So there we are. Uh, RC fan, Tim, that bus model you showed, what was the name of the shop they are online? Question. Really would like to get that kit. Is Tim here? No. Tim's not even here. Cool. Uh, did he get it from Jadlam or Wonderland think, Models? Yeah, Jadlam. Yeah, he got it from Jadlam Racing online. So hopefully that can answer your question. So yeah, yeah. Well, does that say it was the Bismarck? Was it? Uh, no, that that was wrong as well. Oh, that's what I thought. Um, it was uh, the invasion of North Africa. What uh, Operation Torch? Yep. Oh. Everyone's saying it in chat. And Tim, just to confirm, where did you get your bus from online? Yeah, it's Jadlam. Yeah. Jadlam. There you are. Oh, was it? Um, I thought Operation Torch. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Nick McVeigh. Yes, you were right. Hey, I got your name right. That's excellent. Cool. Uh, two tolls uh, model car garage, 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 I'm not American. Uh, I finally figured out uh, a YouTube schedule. I will be posting two toll model car garage episodes every Monday and Friday and all other videos anytime. Excellent. I, I try not to set myself a schedule because I never stick to it. A bit like work. Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> John Sharp. I think in order, Indeed. John Sharp currently working on the Earthix Meteor. Uh, might start N Nagash tomorrow. No, oh. he's cracked on really quick with that meteor as well. It's yeah, like trying to fully built. My shop, he doesn't hang about. Uh, two tolls. Uh, the other videos won't have the regular introduction. Ryan, I looks like more hamsters needed in YouTube's hamster wheel. Yeah, it was buffering for a brief second a minute ago, but it's fine again now. John O'Neill, thanks, Paul. There you are. Sorry, I've never pronounced your name because I actually don't know how to even try and pronounce that. Who's going on, Dan? RJ Pilot. Pi Pilot. Yeah, RJ Pilot. I'll do one right. snap. Thank you. Yes, I agree about Torch. The Swordfish is credited with the dis uh, dis uh, disabling the Bismarck. Indeed. Size scale models finally at the bench. Now get some modelling done. Excellent. And Mr. Midream, what up, Sai? And we've, we've caught up with chat. We've caught up. Like yeah, there's me. It's the oh, it was Operation Fuller was the uh, the, the channel dash. My oh, bad. There. there you are then. When's that done, Kerkermouth? Oh, I, don't, I want to watch that. It's quite soon. I, th I would have thought. One little man. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. <laughs> You're welcome. 
<laughs> like, numbers don't even start until Friday. <laughs> <laughs> get in here, Les. Yeah, come on, Les. If I have to drive to Denver to get you in here, I will. And remember to give the video a like or a dislike. Feedback is always welcome. I can't do this chat as well as Les because I'm not professional. Let us know where you found a link to watch. Indeed. If you're new to watching, that is. Because I've noticed a lot of new names. So it'd be good to know where you found out where you found us. 114 watching right now, 41 thumbs up and one thumbs down. Good that I changed throughout the night. <laughs> yeah, the old javelin. Um, come on, break on this. I, uh, yeah, most of the uh, construction done. No major film at all. Little speck on the back, just there. On there. Uh, little speck on the nose. Tiny speck underneath. Green woods, absolutely perfect. And that's going to be better on those. Pylons are on. There's an intake salon. I've got the uh, boost on. It's the better than the. Two part plastic well, um, yeah, bit of rescribing to do. The tail tickle you want, kind of the mask. Excellent. Done. Um, well done for trying this stuff out. The MRP filler, and uh, it looks really promising so far. It's the only filler I found lately that doesn't prove to be completely useless. So, as soon as you get this prime. I know where we stand. Uh, if it does work, I'll be recommending it after I buy a few bottles first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really good stuff. Well, I'm blessed. And if you want good scribing, uh, Dymo, go on eBay. This stuff, uh, you get five rolls for £10. Much more on than a normal Dymo tape. And uh, it works out about £2 a roll, whereas Dymo tapes work out about £6 a roll. And it's a lot more sticky. A lot better. Excellent. Uh, James Rutherford, anyone been watching the SSGB? Can't say no, I have. I've recorded it, I haven't watched it yet. I watched a little bit of it the other day, uh, the very first one. It was okay. Um, I can't say I've sat there and thought, oh, I want to. Sit down and watch the second one. What is mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. SSGB, it's a new series. Um, it's sort of got an alternative ending to the war. Oh. So it's 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 like Man in the High Castle, made by Netflix, mm. but based in England, and no Man in the High Castle, no videotapes. Okay. Adam Scale Model, currently scratch building a Lord of Stowage for the M18. Not it's just started that, yeah? I mean, a load of stowage. I said that. Yeah, they said a lord. I'm northern. I'm allowed to say lord is load. Uh, oh, Andrew okay. Morris, when's the big giveaway for having 215 viewers, uh, live viewers, last Friday? Oh, right. It's Friday. You need to announce that thing, don't you? Uh, you want to see what I'm giving away? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. God. Show us, show us. Oh, that's going to be popping. It's this nice, rare, out of production 172 oh. 24 Edward kit. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 liberating beauties. Liberating beauties. Yep. Giving it away Friday. Nice kit. Nice. It's got some very nice schemes for the aircraft. It's Hasegawa plastic. It comes with photo etch and resin. I haven't looked in this box for a while. Uh, the, the, do you get do you get resin in that one? I don't think you did. No, it doesn't look like you do. You get no, uh, two yeah, big things of photo etch though. Yeah, you get quite a bit in it. You get the exterior and the engine photo etch, and then the interior colored photo etch. Nice cartograph decals with some ladies. Ladies. I actually, I want that. A bookmark. 
for the IL-2M3 mask set. There's, there's two variants, and there's going to be a new, remember there's going to be a new one coming out soon, which is well worth um, getting as well. So that's what I'm giving away. Excellent. Then when we hit 300, I have another limited edition one to give away. Well, this is currently out of production in Edwards, so yep. someone will like it. Oh, they definitely will. They definitely so will. join us Friday. Nice kid. Thank you, Brett Richards. My pleasure. I'm glad everyone joined us. Chris Hughes found the channel via one of Paul's tutorials. Great find. Oh, indeed. Uh, Andrew Morris, where is the best place to get Bob Industries glue? As a, all I found online costs like ten pound to ship. Uh, right. eBay probably. eBay. Uh, Gary Pashley, July twenty seventeen for the Dunkirk movie. Apparently, Kong oh. Skull Island is the one movie I want to see. Only other, uh, only another two weeks to go. Oh. <laughs> Life after work. As difficult as it seems, I'm here again. Cool beans. RJ Pilot, thanks, Brett. Sasuke Models, nice kit, Brett. Uh, Johnny Blythe, good morning from Brisbane. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, wow, very nice kit. It does look to be a very nice kit. Uh, John Moore scale modeling, and I'm finishing off my trumpeter uh, JG SDF Type 89 IFV. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful, isn't it? Aye. Yeah. Mr. Gav, very generous, Brett. Very generous indeed. Uh, Matt House, uh, I found you via watching Rebels at Cloud Nine. Quite a find. <laughs> cool. uh, RJ Pilot. Where, uh, where did it go, OOP? I'm not sure, but when I checked their site last night, it said it was discontinued. Oh, that, oh, that went out long time. Out of print. I mean. yeah, they did yeah. two versions. They did the Liberating Beauties. And yeah, then you, what was the other one called? I can't remember what that one's called. I can't either. It's, that, it's the other one that I think I kept, because that's the British variant one there. Right, the other one is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's the, that's yep. the British. Yeah, this one's a British variant one, you're right. Yeah, and then the, the, the tan one is the American variants. And I can never remember what that one's called. No, oh, I never can I. Uh, but yeah, it's been out of print for a while. Mm, yep. You can pick them up on eBay, but they're not cheap. No. You can just get the old Academy kit, but of course it's not the end of our box then. <laughs> you don't get such good artwork. Yeah, but this is the Hasegawa kit. Oh, sorry, is that the Hasegawa kit? Is it? I thought it was an Academy-based one. No, this is <laughs> Very nice, very generous. Brett's a nice man. I try. You should talk, Sam. How many kits have you given away? Oh my god, am I not? Anthony Mitchell, hi all. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, oh my god, Bailey's pancake is the future. So good with vanilla ice cream and Nutella. Ooh, god, that's it. Sweet. That's quite a combination. Uh, I like Centurions. It's called. It's a uh, is it's a concert, yeah, cool. and it is it's, it's based on an academy. Oh, I thought it was Asagawa. Yeah, no, they... my bad people. Yeah, well, isn't one a B twenty five, one a B twenty four? Well, mine's a B twenty four. B twenty five is a lot smaller. I think the B yeah the B twenty fours and. It's yeah, got four engines, engine engine. Yeah, four engines. Yeah, four engines. It was a medium bomber, I think. That's fast, that wasn't it? Yeah. Or was that, that was, was that a heavy bomber? It was a heavy bomber. It was like the B-17 replacement. Or was that, is that what it's designed for, was it? Oh. Yeah, but then they just used them together. Yeah. In fact, I doubled the amount of planes. is a much better idea. Yep. And those B-17s were such good planes. Yes, but, they were. Yeah. It's a shame uh, Edward never did like a special edition uh, B-17 kit. It's a shame HK didn't make those better. I'm a bit bitter about that. Okay. 
Um, yeah, it's a shame they didn't do a uh, decent 172 because there's quite a few good 172 kits out there. The Revel one's not bad for its uh, age. Uh, and you've got the nice new uh, Airfix one. And you've also got the HK one. I would like Back one in 48 scale. I'd like a 40, decent 48 a scale. A new one in 48, yeah. B-17 and B-20. Yeah. I, yep. I think most of the uh, American bombers in uh, a good now, a good 148 scale would be... Um, very, very, people would really like that. Yeah, because I built those Ravel ones like three or four times. Have you? What's, what's, what's the, what's, is. What's the uh, Revel, uh, Revel Liberator like? It's what? better than the B-17. Oh, is it? Yep, it still has raised panel lines. Though. Oh, does it? Oh, yep. yeah. So you got to sand all those down. Yeah, because I like the Lancaster in that size, and I thought Liberator would be cool, but I knew it was an old... Kit. I didn't realize it was a uh, raised panel lines. Though. Yeah, there's like four different variants of it, but they're all raised panel lines right now. Mountaineer Modeler, hello all. Uh, minimized video listening at work. Stuck in spreadsheet hell. I hate spreadsheets. Started watching a few months ago after seeing a YouTube suggested video. What a oh. good suggestion. Uh, RJ Pilot, thanks for the info. Uh, Simon Eyes, question. I've decided to try Mr. Colour's Semi Gloss Super Clear, Mr. Colour Flat Clear, and the Clear. Any tips on thinning ratios and PSI? Thanks for in, uh, in advance. 15 to 20 PSI of thinner till it doesn't fit in your airbrush. Yeah. I'd start around 30% and try it from You'll probably find it more like 50%. Yeah, I prefer 50. No. Clear. Brad Pierce, you guys heard anything about the Bomber Command docudrama? Can't say I have. No, I haven't. Uh, Frank Randall, yes, great kit, the 148B, 24D, and J. Yep, they're much better than the B17. They're just still raised panel lines. But they go together so well. Talk about the docudrama. Uh, Johnny641, any opinions on the Liquitex varnishes? I normally use Vallejo. Uh, it's the gloss I am after. Actually, well, Les... I know model kit are you glossing? Les uses Liquitex, so if he was here, he could answer. Well, he's not. But he's not. <laughs> Let's make Les feel guilty now. Yeah. Put it, you can PM Les. Side alpaca, man. Less <laughs> likes getting PM, so PM. Yeah, you send, let's send less a PM. About 3 a.m. US time. <laughs> He'll like this. He's the only no, one I know who way. uses it. Yeah, I've heard him mention that a few times. Or if he's reading the chat, maybe he can answer himself, so you don't have to PM him. But PM him anyway. <laughs> Just PM him saying thank you for the answer at 3 a.m. Picture of a dog. Oh, I can't get on the floor and shall PM me at one o'clock in the morning. Yep. <laughs> uh, Gary Pashley, new tool 148 for US bomber line to basically replace the old monogram kits will be a great license to print money if they had the basic rights. Oh, yeah, it would. Everyone would be buying those. Oh, I would definitely. Good We're scale 48. Stuck in the old Ravel ones. Yep. Simon Eyes. Uh, Sorry, Karen. I, I I'll just the thirty-two scale bombers is too. Yeah, it's too big. It's nice and detailed, but it's too big. Yep. They are a heft. We they need are. the forty-eight. You get decent detail in forty-eight. Well, forty-eight is my go-to scale. Um, yeah. No, I've just started collecting a few. I do love it. Yeah, it's cool. It's forty forty-eight is my my main scale though. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Simon Eyes, thanks. Using Mr. Leveling Thinner, question. The sound broke up a little as you spoke, Paul. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Hobby Thinner. Thank you, Paul. Who? <laughs> sound is. <laughs> David, Mr. Mini Dreams, I'm Facebook calling him. Nah. <laughs> yeah, Brett, I just had a quick look at that B24. It's a 1970, was it 19... 76. Yep. Wow. I built both of them with some of my first model kits when I was like 13 and 14. Then I built them again in my 20s and again in my 30s. And I have both of them here in the stash again. 
Paul. If you, if you want to do some rescribing, I imagine that would be a well. I'm going to on the B24 because I got some really nice decals for it. Mm -hmm. But that's a long term project. Yeah. Paul S, does anyone know what's going on with Outclad Aquagloss? It seems pretty rare in the UK, and I've heard there's been issues with recent batches. Yeah, there has. There has, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't recall them under the stock production floor, I don't know. I was about to say, I've not used it since I've had issues with uh, decaling. I got two old bottles, I'm fine. I'm going to get three old bottles, I'm banging. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a well old, so I'm happy. Uh, Simon Ice, thanks, Andreas. <laughs> Steve, can I use screw goo rather than filler for seam lines? Yep. Yeah. Uh, world of plastic mobbing. Timothy! Uh, how's that little flashy, twinkly light thingy coming along inside your head? Ah. Tim, I've got no lights in, is there? No. Oh. No one home. There isn't an awful lot. There's no one home tonight, anyway. Uh, Martin, hi guys, talking over bombers. I'm after a 172B17G Urfix or Hasegawa Revel. Uh, not sure any help. Oh, not sure any help will be appreciated. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> Hi guys, talking of bombers, I'm after the 172B17G Urfix or Hasegawa Revel. Not sure any help would be appreciated. B17G. Okay. I'd say the new Urfix. I'm not yeah, the new Urfix is supposed to be good. Yeah, yeah, good thing about it. Is it actually a G variant? I think so. That I don't yeah. know. Nope, hang on. Uh, 17, 172. Um, aircraft, propeller, B17 fortress. <coughs> um, what's going on with this? I think I need to do that. Yes, yeah, so that's probably going to help me a lot more. Right, we've got G's Academy. Yep, people are saying good things about the Earthix one. Yeah, okay. Worth getting a few copies of my G variant. Uh, Gary you, Pasley. Yeah, so you can get a Hasegawa and a G, yes. But for ease of build, get the new Airfix. That's that's a, a relatively brand. It's, it's 2016 tooling. Good kit. Go together. On, yeah, buy that. Bye, bye, bye. There you go. That's recommended by Shaky. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Pasley, B24 is easily rescribe. Only issues remembering from building both boxing is the breakdown the nose tail turrets, leaving seams across the clear parts where they are where there are no panel lines to cover joints. Yeah, because the turrets come in halves, clear halves. Oh, oh. Really? Yep. Oh, really? 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 Who did? Yep. Uh, go press the Earthix B seventeen G all day long. Uh, Martin, okay, Ooh. sounds good. Thanks, chaps. Sai Dennis, evening all. Just dropped uh, the current Miss Dennis off at the Flicks to watch the new Fifty Shades movie. Oh, oh. now spending oh. tonight building Gatamia East uh, East Eight uh, Easy Eight in my pleasure room. Oh, you might be here for a good time. Oh, you're gonna say, Cleo, modeling when she returns. Yep, you better be rested. Hmm. Well, he's, he's already yeah. in his pleasure room. Filthy, Ivan. Wrong, Ivan. Pleasure. No, his says pleasure room. Oh, okay. That's what he said. You. Uh, Steve, Paul, what are you doing with the red tape? Open the shop. He's rescribing. There you are. Rescribing. Uh, model Motorsport. Evening, folks. Evening. Ooh. Goldfish, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hope all are well. Hey, yes. All except less. Indubitably. Well, need some coffee. 
And Les and I have a model show to go to this weekend, so I hope he gets better. Oh, that'd be very good if he does. Well, you need to show that flyer on Friday, Tim. Which flyer is that? The Brent? one I sent you for the upcoming show. Okay. Let me send well, it again. It's the first of March, so that's a very good point. I better actually go start finding. I I I better get this this um. Sorry. I'll help you look around too. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm awake. I am awake. I really am. Just get up. Oh. I'll help you look around him. Frank Randall, yes. Uh, there was a guy over here in the USA that did vac form B24 turrets, but he went out of business last year. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no, who sent me? Private Pete sent me a message. Model show slot. Did he send me the link to it? Well, RJ Pilot says, is that a show in Colorado? Yeah, it's in um, Golden. At Jefferson County Fairgrounds on Saturday from nine to six. RC Fan Squadron does fact form turrets and canopies for the monogram B twenty four. RJ Pilot, is that show in C O Brett? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, Colorado. Mm. Yeah, Colorado. <laughs> Wait for Barbara. I know. <laughs> If you need information, send me a PM and I'll send you the flyer. All right, I'm going to try not to butcher your name. T. Mayer. Mayer. Hi, guys. Uh, Tommy from Sol Cal. By the way, of Costa Rica. Rica, sorry. Yeah, not Rico. Rico. I said the first bit kind of right. I said the last bit wrong. You know, you know, Tommy Jones Hangouts. God, yeah. Yeah, the one with the car issue. Yeah. Oh, the hell. <laughs> that was a story. <sighs> what a funny story. Now he's not going to join anymore because you just butchered his country. I know, I'm, I'm a fan of that. Boggle Motors 4. What we rushed to do this week got sidelined life, etc. etc. Uh, <laughs> world, uh, world Model Plastic Tim's Little Red Hat has shrunk drastically and reappeared magically on Paul's bench. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, it's scale model. I've got to say it. You, were you just looking then and you're here? Yeah. You just look. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was yeah, funny. I, I was just thinking, where's my hat? <laughs> That's you're what I was thinking. You're looking three sheets to win at a minute. Oh, mate. <laughs> they did say they'd make you drowsy. Huh? You're going to swear. No. <laughs> I'm not Steve, Travis all started kicking in, so I might end up doing a Tim. What's that? Just hurry up and kick in, be great. I'll be on some Travis all in a minute, please. Welcome to the old people show, Will. Oh dear. With your my edge. <laughs> You tell us your elements, and we'll tell you if we've got them. <clears throat> yep. What do you need to know? <laughs> uh, Frank Randall Squadron uh, does still carry those turrets still in stock. Cool. Guy Patrick, Actually, you know, because I'm getting those vacuum foreign turrets for my B24. Indeed. Uh, Gary Pashley may have to pick one of those old monogram kits. Uh, last one I built was 148 B29, maybe 15. Uh, years ago, uh, modified using a Paragon set to build an SB-29A Super Dumbo RC Rescue Aircraft. I not call it a Dumbo. Yeah, you can get a lot of good resin and upgrade sets for both B-24, B-17, B-29. That's why I keep building them all these years. Yeah, I did see nice a good decal engine schemes. I did, I did see a good engine set for that Liberator. Yeah. Very good engine set. So you can make them into amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bit of time. Yep, and then there's always a bit of money chucked into them and they work well. But the kits themselves are pretty cheap. Mm. Yeah, I might have to have a look out for one. Uh, Norman D, what donating another kit? Tuesdays. Wednesday. I'll see you for a while, Norman. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Paul, I think a minute. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, Tommy says, yeah. Les. Sorry, go on. He has the bug that everybody's got. Man yeah. flu. Everyone's getting it. Tommy says, Les, uh, did you make it to the grand opening of Caboose Hobbies? I heard it was crowded. Uh, they had free pizza. Hopefully, Les is still in chat because Les isn't here. No, Les and I were going to go to that last Saturday, but Les was sick and didn't want to drive down by myself. So we did not. You get a call from me, Brad? Yeah, I could have. <laughs> but I wasn't sure if you'd be able to get here in time. <laughs> uh, Next well, time, we'll put you at the top of the list. Thanks, top of the Brad. list. Quite a commute. <laughs> but Bumpton High Blokes lost my internet for an hour. Oh dear. Oh, you missed the price draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. <clears throat> oh, I need to be careful. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry if I put you in, but Simon Mark Simpson. Evening, gents. Sorry, just got in. It's all right. You still joined us. That's good. Sam K. Uh, the B17 is 17 quid on eBay from Jadlam. Revel 148. That's cheap. That is. Wow, I should have got that. I didn't spot that one. I don't need a B17. Well, no one... got... yeah. <laughs> is it that bad? Are you that, are you that disappointed in it? I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's... it's... Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you disappointed? It's it's nowhere near as polished as the B twenty five. Oh. Like nowhere near. That's not good, is it? It's not. Sell it. Are you gonna write a letter to your MP and complain? No, I'm just gonna give it away. Norman D seen a stunning one forty eight B twenty four drawn in burn metal foil a few years back, uh, with hand painted artwork. Really impressive, it was. Oh. I remember seeing that too. I just can't remember who did it. You're, you're smoothing over what you just said first. John Sharp. <laughs> I'm not. Tim gets first on it. 17, you've already told him. Yeah. Uh, make yeah. that another one, taking strong tablets. <laughs> send, it, send it on, Norman. I don't mind. You promised it to Tim when you were done with it. Uh, Gary Pashley, uh time and money, same thing for every project. Uh, $35, 40-year-old monogram base kit, I throw two. <laughs> Fifty dollars worth of resin at it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bob I don't know if I'll do two fifty worth of resin, but it'll be resin thrown at it. <laughs> Andreas, what was the prize? Bag of free air. Huh? You just said there was a prize draw. Yeah, what was the prize, Andreas? You said you'll give us some air. Andreas' is brand new Apex airbrush. Yeah. All right. Awesome. That's generous, Andreas. Well, that's generous, Andreas. Uh, Between you and Ivan, the generosity is yeah. amazing. Awesome, yes. Yeah. You're just such a nice man. RC fan, I want to do a B24 for Brett's bomber build, but the kit I have has all the parts cut off the sprue when I bought it second hand. No. I should have brought it. Yeah, we'd be alright. I'm just not glued together at all, it'll be alright, wouldn't it? I reckon. Yeah. Brett? Pardon me? Are you saying all the parts are cut off the sprue, but it's not started? It's still got together, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. Clean up the parts unless they butchered them taking them off the sprues. Uh, uh, see on Mark, sorry. It's Don't worry. Br it's oh, Sean yes. Mark. Now, yes, now you've said it. It's Sean, Mark. Yeah. Sean, Mark, exactly. It's Sean. Sean, yes. Sean. Sean, Sean. Sean, Sean. 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 Right now I've got your name. I apologise. Thank you. Sean. Well, that, yes. World of plastic modelling. Random weird fact. Those cotton buds Q-tips are being made from 100% paper next week. They're getting rid of plastic shafts to save the fishes. Yeah. Sean. <laughs> Fish you can use them to clean their ears. <laughs> I, yeah. I, 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 plastic cotton swab. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's many questions in that that may never be answered. Yeah. Model Motorsport. Oh, just skipped a little. Uh, there we are. Uh, he's a Gen RB Productions fantastic passion for the hobby. Uh, tonight, I'm always getting the names I can't say. Yeah. Which one can't you say? Javier. Right, Javier. If that's right, then thank you. Uh, yes. Hi. Hi, everyone. Joe's Models Kits. Uh, Hi. and Tra Thank you. Cocodamol and Tramadol and Ami... Amitripod... Amitripodoline. Thank you. It still hurts. That's <laughs> indeed, mate. It's why, it's why I'm here. not a doctor. <laughs> Matt58. Hi, everyone. Did I miss anything good? Everything. Yeah. We've yeah. circus clowns and everything. Yeah. 14 prizes have been given away. Yep. I'll pass a lot of the Yep. Andreas, give an airbrush. Yeah. Yeah. Evan's giving his beast boy team the team. Yeah. I'm giving away free air. Uh, Sean Mark Chapman looks great. <laughs> Who's that? Sean Mark. Debra. Javelin looks great. Oh, thank you. It does. Would you say, Dan? You're giving away free air that's not like Trump. Mm hmm. No, no, that's not free. Are that's you charging it then? I, I charge for that. I think I need to have some coffee. Uh, remind me again, is it Jorge? <coughs> is that name Jorge again? I've just... Javier. Javier. Jorge. What am I on about me? I've had one oh, drink. Javier. Javier. I need to get it drilled in my head. I'm bad with names. I still don't know the people I work with. Uh, I just joined in. What's everyone working on? FX Javelin. Trumpeter Stuka, 132 scale. Uh, Warhammer, Razorback. Fijimi, 124 scale, McLaren, GTR F1. <coughs> An appetite. Timmy. I'm real. Yeah. What are you working on? I'm Coffee reading instructions on the Sevesta P2. <laughs> you were reading them ages ago. <laughs> well, at least I I'm still am. Yeah, <laughs> the most out of it. Put it together without the instructions. Good point. Yeah. Johnny Blythe, early morning here. Methadone uh, kicked in yet? Methadone. Hello. Methadone. Yeah. Methadone. Yeah. I had to yeah. double read that, and it is methadone. Yeah. Yeah. It's methadone. <laughs> uh, Paul S. The great thing about meds is after about an hour of them kicking, uh, them taking uh, after an hour of taking them, you have super steady hands. Which is great uh, if you do detail work on your model. I wouldn't know. I don't take anything. I can't. <clears throat> I can't relate. Um, Gary Pash, oh, sorry, go on. They used to make my hands steady. They used to. There's so many things <clears throat> I want to tell right now, but I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I'm just everybody. thinking that myself. I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Pashley, uh, go through the instructions, make sure everything is accounted for, build away, jobs are good. Yep. yep. Always, always review the instructions carefully before you start. Ah, regarding the Q-tips, they get flushed down the loo, mostly to the sea. Mostly. Who no, flushes q down the spoiler? No, no way. Stick them in the bin. I'm an old plumber, so I... I I hate you right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Michael Mitchell shouted donkey. Uh, Bob Bobby. There's worse things to get flushed down the loo. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. They've caused major blockages. Manhole covers. Oh, man. Isn't that brutal? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Once I have to... I, I have have to how do you fit a manhole cover down a toilet? Oh, God. Uh, I do you lift them and there's stuff, things floating around in there. It shouldn't be there. <clears throat> I once had to oh, disassemble a, a toilet and drag out a beach towel. Oh. <laughs> I want to try to flush. Yeah. Uh, I must have a heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a heavy flow. That's a maxi pad, all right? Yeah. <laughs> beach towel. Oh, God. 
Bob Robinson got uh, got bored doing the Lancaster, put him in the box. Uh, now doing the 172 Hawk, small and red. You really nailed that last one for the wall. It's high. It's like island. being in, indeed. It's like being work all day with these uh, work all these drugs. Sorry, right. Let me start again. I'm not with it at the minute. He's run these teeth in for yeah. someone else. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's like being in work or uh, there. All these drugs name flying about. Uh, at least no one's in need of uh, Narcan. No, 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 just morphine. <laughs> Uh, well, the plastic modeling Johnson and Johnson said millions of fishes, turtles, seals, penguins were swallowing them and dying. So the paper shafts, mm, so the paper shafts will disintegrate in the ocean, and the fishes get to live free. Oh. Free fish, very very cheap. Uh, Anthony Mitchell, <laughs> looking good, Paul. <laughs> Poor crabs. Uh, Sean Mark, nothing just had to scrap Revel ME262 as compressor died, so I tried to brush paint it and ruined it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Paul S, uh, I think Tim is working on staying awake so he does not get a fine for falling asleep on the live stream. He'll get fined eventually. One does hope. One does hope. <laughs> uh, job. Until they find out that all this uh, cellulose release when the paper breaks down, poisons everything else, you know it'll happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Model Motorsport Belkits have released pictures of the initial shots of the, the Manta 400. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for that thing. Uh, RJ Pilot, the same humans that flush used tampons. Mm. Joey. I have never uh, in my life done that. Bob Pobbington, Marmite sandwiches can't flush them, I've tried. That's <laughs> 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 bad. I can just imagine him stand by and sort of, damn you, flush away! Do you like them? Yeah, I love them! I love them, flush! <laughs> That's a bad one. <laughs> uh, Brad Pierce received the airbrush yesterday. The grandkids visited later that day. The first thing they said has, has James sent you any more lollies, lol. Thanks, yeah. guys. Perfect timing. Yeah. Norma D, don't throw it away. Just use Mr. Cover Leveling Thinner to strip back the plastic. Yeah. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> Should I do open cowling, Ivan? Uh, what on the P two? Yeah, I'll be showing the engine. Okay, I won't then. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, Sean Mark, too late, Norman. A thinned Tamiya paint, which then ran under all the masking tape. Oh. Sugar plums. Sugar. He's still stripped the back. Good news, everyone. I'm putting up a new. Uh, not permanent, but. Uh, makeshift cave next door happy in, days in the, in the in the room next door it's only two by two and a half meters but yeah. i just yep. have to put in all my stash and all my equipment yeah you help me modeling too. that should be good yeah happy really. days andres just have to yeah i just have to take all my tools out of the room and Knickknacks. And I'll be set. Uh, Paul S, Mr. Muscle, all purpose cleaner strips Tamiya paint really well. Not as good as fire. 
<laughs> they have a fire ruins of plastic. Mm, occasionally. Uh, I'm not going to read John's comment because it's very uncouth. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, Jamie's Jamie's off. Have a great rest of the show. Bye, Jamie. See you, Jamie. Bye, Bye, Jamie. No. Not that. Not that. Get your mind out of the gutter. Next time uh, you and Jamie's in the same anger, you need to learn Mandarin off him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nah. I think that would be, be comical in a northern accent. I think I never play with this little sauce. <laughs> Jamie's <laughs> yeah. You hear Ivan? I'm here. He's concentrating. Uh, Chris Hughes, there are a lot of views on air brushes. What compressor would you advise? Uh, as any budget, if you got 165 quid, Sparmax 610. That's what I got. If you got 80 quid, one of the rip off ones on eBay. If you got 300 quid, for the bandy. Sparmax is an excellent compressor. Yeah, Sparmax. Yeah. I used to have one on a grid, so bandy. I want Bambi. I dated a girl named Bambi once. Mm -hmm. She was a deer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can see the tunnel being passing the room there, Brad. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people say Sparmax. Uh, Gills in chat, Red Dragon. Good evening, folks. Just stopped in to say, hey, got my grandson Thank here. And it's his nap time. Off to give him a few nap time stories and sing him a few songs. I haven't could sing him a song for you. He's the piano man. Yeah. Yeah. So You'll see in the Sparvac 610. Uh, Simon, I haven't went to part one of the B17. Going to be up? Never. <laughs> that is what's over. We should be honest with yourself, Ivan. <laughs> Chris Hughes, mm -hmm. uh, it has a tank. Yes, it has a tank on it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mark, I just found out that uh, Bartley and Clean Spirit from B and M strips Tammy of paint, no smell, very clean and bloody cheap. <laughs> Strike Eagle fifteen, Brett, keep of uh, keep the day job. <laughs> that was quite a good joke, if you ask me. I don't get it. I thought it was funny. Is someone else alright to keep a uh, chat for five minutes? Tim. Tim. Tim Tim's well. not here. Well, Tim's not back in a minute. Give me a minute. Let me finish dry brushing this engine. Right, don't no worry. No, Simon, not the B25 either. Well, he loves the B25. You want your B25? What about the Tammy or Tony? No, Simon, I'll do, I'll do my next episode when you do your next series. Next episode of what? Of anything. What series is he doing? Oh, when he starts one. Uh, sorry, I was confused for a minute. I love this too. I love this crawl. 
I was just sad my Bambi joke didn't go over better. <laughs> I got it, bro. Yeah, I knew you would. Mm -hmm. uh, Strakigal, how about the new mold AB B uh, AB twenty six Invader in one forty eight scale? Who's uh, who'd go for that one? I would because I still have the old ones of the monogram of that too. Boom. <clears throat> Simon Eyes has a joke. I was watching nice. two blind men fight. Thank you. <laughs> I was watching two blind men fight outside a pub. You should have seen them run while I uh, when I said, "Fancy the one with what?" Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm uh, that again in my head. I love a joke when it's butchered, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to read that again in my head. Uh -huh. Yep, you have to know. You started it, you need to finish it. <clears throat> like your kids. Yeah. I, I don't finish them, so. Exactly. Must be a massive joke. No, to me, that still doesn't. Read the house. I was watching two blind men fighting outside a pub. You were. should have. Never mind. I can't really joke. Yeah. Right, carry on. Right. I was. Right, I need to go in a minute if that's all right, just for like five minutes, but. Right. Uh, I was watching two blind men fight outside a pub. You should have seen them run when I said, I fancy the one with the knife. Yeah. <laughs> See, that were quite funny, and if you delivered it a bit better and quicker. It's not the same when you read a joke. Uh, Andrew Callis. Uh, uh, read a whole joke in advance and then you deliver it, Ivan. Yeah. Andrew Callis. Uh, did she always have lots of dollars, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> Simon, I'm doing one now. Are you really? Are you really? Uh, well, the plastic modeling. Talking to Bambi, my Tamiya horse is ready for the plastic paddock waiting for my Pimp My Horse buddy pill. Oh, yeah. Well, it's coming up. Uh, Sean Mark, I do have Academy 172nd Stuka JU87G1, but really don't want to risk brush painting it. Strike Eagle, by the way, thanks to all you gents for sharing your banter and chat. Uh, time long. <coughs> Uh, Tell them with your insights. You right? Oh. All right. Went that wrong at all. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> yep. That's what she said. You need to go for a few minutes. Let's mark where you've read. When I get this done, I'll start reading. By right, cracking cheers. I'm almost there. Oh, Tim probably passed out somewhere. Uh, John, I've had a comic time of a brick. Yeah, that's why I don't read jokes. I read that. Come on, these guys know me well. I, I like to ruin jokes. Especially when they're not funny to begin with. Ouch. Sometimes an unfunny joke is the funniest joke. Right, I'm Mark Chat. Back in a sec. All right. Yep. Well, we have 113 watching. Tim stepped away, probably fell down and fell asleep somewhere. Sam stepped away, but he came back. No, I'm still here, man. Oh, hi, Sammy. Yeah, I've just moved a bit. Hello, hey. Brad. <laughs> hi, Sam. I just moved over a bit towards the laptop. I find the oh. more clear bench space can make, the more mess you make. Oh, yeah. I know that. I clean up my whole bench, and then I get messier. Yep. <laughs> man looks like he's into primer already. 
that primer, Dan? No, it's uh, it was primed earlier, and now it's in Tamiya X4 and some purple ghost tint from Badger. Oh, and I'm just starting, ghost badger, badger, I'm just badger, doing, badger. starting a bit of detail painting. Oh, we like ghost tint, and I'm juggling with it. Swear words. No, I didn't hear you. Go, did I need to just do a bit to touch up on my. I've actually got a little um, bits on his. Yeah. What interest? I've actually got a a serious subject to talk about. Uh oh. Was, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I was thinking. I was. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, regarding kit manufacturers and how they design the landing gear on kits on planes Mo what I've noticed is that most of them have the the struts or the dampeners fully extended it should be compressed yeah, yeah. Compressed the plane yeah yeah, yeah. That's a good point you're gonna have the landing gear down it's got to be compressed yeah, this is uh, 109 from Edward. He's got fully yeah. extended struts. And, it, it, and they will compress a bit, actually. And it, the stance is a bit off when you put it down. But you can cut and readjust. But they, I think they should actually come pre-compressed. I agree. But, yeah, because the only time when the suspension isn't compressed is when it's taking it off and landing. Yep. Do you think the reason why they'd supply it in the kit like that is so you can put the wheels up and the wheels' legs fit when it's closed? Well, no, because most landing yeah, gear yeah. behind doors. Yeah, well, landing gear, when, there's, yeah, when landing gear mm -hmm. are well retracted, they are in the full extended, Yeah, I think. I was thinking that because I'm thinking of doing my F-14 this summer cool. I'm going to do it in the staged uh, position with all flaps and in the catapult and the F-14s usually collapse the front the front uh, wheel whilst damper when they take off I've seen all the way for some reason but, but then I started noticing my other kids they I have extended dampers. I agree, Andres. They seem to be up all the time, extended. Yeah. I had one kit. I think it was the Phantom that had the had was a stretch pressure down. Yeah. So that's pretty much the only one I remember now. Yeah. You ready to start reading chat, Tim? Uh no. <laughs> you look you look bad, man. There you tell. You got rings around your eyes and these things are like they're making they're making me very everywhere. But um they're not really taking the pain off. Well, that's not good. So while still having the while still having the pain, you're also getting the drowsy of the drugs, which is not very helpful. Quite no, enough. it's not. No. You should go to bed, man. Yeah, you should go to bed, man. You should, Tom. No, I'm going to hang on. Oh, man. I can hang on, hang on a little bit longer. Well, there's not much going on in the chat anyway. Is it, it's a bit trying to make a joke. Is, is Ivan run away from his duties, is he? Yeah, he yeah. had to go out for a few minutes. Oh. Um, RJ Pilot says, assuming you're not on takeoff or final approach, which Andrew said that. Yeah. Andrew Callis says, wait for the sound of Ivan's flushing. <laughs> Sharpie said, it's Yuval. We actually hear in the hangout, Andy. Everyone's saying, poor Tim. You need to turn in, Tim. Go to bed, Tim. <laughs> Gun, Tim. Tim's shoulder got injured. Yuval, we actually hear in the hangout, Andy. Right, Tim? 
and the doctor's not being much help to him. Well, they've helped. They've given me something that they said. Well, look, said it doesn't sound like you've actually really hurt it. I said because when they when they're pressing around on it, they couldn't find a spot where it actually hurts. Well, the doctor couldn't anyway. And uh, she's like, well, it's, it's probably just muscle pain. So they're giving me something to apparently relax the muscles. Um, and they said, in theory, with it relaxing the muscles, it should then take away the pain. And I was like, okay, because the paracetamols aren't doing anything to it. Does it work? Hey? Does it work? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> you need a proper pain killer or something. Yeah. Yeah, because if all it's doing is making you tired and not helping, then it's just a waste of time. Exactly that. Exactly. You're gonna wake up drowsy and pissed off. Yeah. Oh, I've already been moaned that today. Stop moaning. I'm like, oh, I'm in pain. She's like, well, stop moaning, everyone. I'm like, yeah, fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gang. If it's any consolation, any consolation to me, you do get used to the pain after a while. No, it's no consolation. Do you know what? I've been quite fine. As soon as I sat down over here, it, it's, I'll try and lean on my desk. And it hurts. Um, uh, Ace is high. I was asking, what did they give me? Uh, it's something called Robaxin. Robaxin? Um, apparently, they're muscle relaxants. Yeah, and they go in your mouth, not in your bum. Sean mm. Hart says... Oh, that's why. Yeah. Uh, why is it that our, the RAF used to have all those cool-looking aircraft, the Victor, the Vulcan, the Jaguar, the Javelin, the Sea Vixen, and now all they have is the Eurofighter and the Tornado that are bland-looking? I agree. All those early British Cold War jets were amazing. I love yeah, the yeah. look of the Victor and the Vulcan and the Sea Vixen and the Javelin. I think it's because they stopped making jets on their own, didn't they? Didn't they just go into it with France and Germany? Yeah. Hence the Eurofighter. Yep. And the Tornado. Yep. Or is, if there's a Tornado. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's thinking of an Oldsmobile. <laughs> well, then Sean Mark says, am I just showing my age? Well, you're not just showing your age. I agree with you. Those old ones were great. All this says you can always cut a bit off the landing gear and make it look compressed under the weight if you're modeling the gear yeah. allows for it. You, have, you got to drill a hole and stick a little brass rod in it to make the strength it back up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start doing it on kits that need it from now on. But it it should actually. I think the the kits manufacturer could model it in. Right, they should do that. Or or have one of each. Yeah, give you two options. Yeah, exactly. options. And how many people actually make a <laughs> diorama with it taken up or taken off or landing? Not very many. No. It's either in flight or on the ground. Yep. Yeah, or if it's taken off, the back wheels are still on the ground, but the front wheel's in the air. Yeah, so it'd be nice to have an extended front and a compressed back or something. Right. My Hobby Boss 18 has compressed. It came with compressed suspension. Yeah, a few do, but, but it's, you know. it's, just, it's just by chance it's what you get, I think. Al McNeese says, because aircraft these days are designed by a committee, unless American. Yeah. Yeah, if they're American, they're designed by someone on drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've never actually seen the aircraft that they're designing. Nope. All the time. Drugs for Tim. Yes, the new jets are shared construction. Chris Hughes says that. The Jaguar was also French-British cooperation. And David S. says, don't forget the Harrier. Yeah, I like the look of the Harrier. Yeah, it was nice. All right, back. Uh, World of Plastic says planes are just too costly to produce these days by a single nation. Only people these days that do it are the Americans and the Russians. And the Russians have some beautiful aircraft. Oh, yeah. Uh, tornado is way past its original end of the life schedule. Yeah, I thought they were pretty well pulled out of service already. 
Am I wrong? Are you still using them? I believe. Yeah. I think they're still used. Somebody in that water somewhere will be using them. Yep. Sean Mark says, seems we went down shared NATO route. Shame as all those awesome British engineered aircraft just decommissioned. Yeah, and then they shred them up. Biggest waste for TSR2. Oh. That was a beautiful craft. Yeah, I've seen that TSR2. There's one at the, um, oh, the aircraft museum. I was at it what, years ago. Uh, Can't really where was it, Tim? I'd say Luton. Tim's Tim. not able to see you right now. <laughs> Tim. Uh, he says, I quite like the Tornado GR3. Yeah, I like the look of Tornado 2. I made a Desert Storm one. Actually, there's a banner on one of my pages. Hendon had the TSR2. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for Sean Mark likes to look at the That's what I see now. What address? Cosford, I think. Cosford. Cosford. Yeah, yeah. That's they, they got a TS or two on display there. Yeah, they have actually. Yeah, in Cold War, but that's probably yeah. Cosford. Then. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're, no, in the prototype bit actually. Tornado GR4 is current version still in use. Aces I says a colleague still flies them. They're in use over Syria. Uh, World of Plastic Modeling. The Vulcan is scheduled to be scrapped one week before the Falklands kicked off, and they brought it out to use it. Yeah, but finally got to fly one combat mission. That was 15 Squadron. Due to stand down on Tornado end of March, that leaves only a couple squadrons at Marham. Well, the, the tornado's knee finished as well. Damn. That's what we're talking about, the tornado. Oh, no. Yeah, you want to buy the new POS F-35? Oh. Evil yeah. Carrot says, hello, lovely people. And he says, just kidding. Uh, hello. Yeah, we've seen you too, Sebastian. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hughes says, the RAF will use the tornado until at least 2018. Paul Green says TSR2 at Duxford. Oh, Andreas was asking you about that. Tim? Hey, guys. Is there a TSR2 at wherever you guys went the last year? Yeah. Yes, there is. Costford? Yeah. Where was it? Costford. Yeah. Big, big plane, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Probably oh, big. It's very long. Yeah. John Work wants to know if the RAF still has long range bombers. Uh, no, because the B-52s are stationed over there. Yeah. That's Joe's model kits. TSR2 was a great plane, and we only got rid of it because the Americans didn't want us to have it. Damn Americans. <laughs> <laughs> the hell's wrong with them? I had Olympus engines, didn't it? Bob Bob and Rolls Perry, Royce, Olympus. Electric lightning Canabera. What? Was it, was it a three-stage Olympus, wasn't it, you said? Yeah, three-stage burners, Olympus. Why did they scrap it? Was it just cost? I think that's all it was, yeah, just cost. Uh, it was at that point in time when it was... They had to put it into full production, and I think it, they just didn't want to spend the money. Mm. I, I don't think it was even the cost of it. I just don't think they wanted to spend any money at all. Yeah. Nope, they just got no money for it. I don't think. Yeah. But then a few years later, they had to they, they had to they had to do something, and they built they had the tornado, which is a really good plane, and, it, and the tornado came pretty much from the TSR two, just oh, all right, a bit of a rebox, <laughs> <laughs> a bit smaller, yeah, yeah a bit, bit smaller, same electronics in it though, apparently. Yeah, well, that's true. Hey, Bob Bobbleton says most electric lightning in Canberra and Canberra. Those were beautiful planes too. I gotta build me a lightning kit. Lightning. The lightning is actually bigger than you would imagine as well. Really like. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yes. I've seen I've seen one of them in action. Yeah, I've seen very them. loud. Yeah, massive. Yeah, they yeah, they are. I'm sure. shining, funny enough. They are man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Paula says the F-22 is better aircraft than the F-35. Probably is. It probably is. I don't still up here is. Yeah, Adam Scale Model says the RAF still have a nice collection of helicopters, though. And World of Plastic Modeling, the Vulcan needed refueling 15 times during a single Falkland bombing run from Ascension <laughs> Island to the Falklands and back. It was 15 Vixens worth of fuel. Wow. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah. Was it 15? I thought it was three. I don't I know. I, I've seen a documentary once. I can't remember now. Oh, well, they, they did refuel. Yeah, they did refuel. A few times. Yeah. In mid mid area refueling. Aces High says, I'm sure there's a few of us here who agree you can't beat the sound of an Apache. I know I haven't heard one. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard one. We get a lot of Blackhawks flying up here in the mountains, but not a lot of Apaches. Those Blackhawks must make quite a lot of noise. They make a lot of noise, and they echo through the mountains because they're bouncing off all the mountain peaks. So you can hear them forever. Let's see. Sean Mark says, what was wrong with the Vulcans? As far as I know, nothing. <laughs> they're just big. Used a stupid amount of fuel, yeah. and the Cold War had ended. What's yeah, the, yeah. the need for need for a long range bomber? Still don't need them. We got all these missiles we can launch. Yeah, I remember somebody yeah. on a documentary. One of the pilots was saying, you know, they're on permanent standby, and, and he said, "There's command and officer. You know, if we take off from here to fly, say, to Russia, and Russia and launch a nuclear weapon, where are we going to land?" Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it was it was a pure case of it was it was utter crazy. The, the reality of it all was just completely nuts. Mm. Completely nuts. Okay, the same thing with the B fifty twos and the bears and everything else. Where are they going to land? Yeah. Well, you remember, well, it is, Russia's massive. They would have had probably a lot of airfields out the way from anything that we that are quite easily. Uh, Right, and in the central U.S. is where all the B-52s are stationed, so they'd be out of it for a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Amit Nee says, don't forget the Buccaneer tan model. Oh, yeah. Paul, when are we getting our Buccaneer? Paul's uh, muted. Very soon, I believe. Oh. oh. Watch for that on your MP3 tail. Once it comes out, they get it. I'll be getting, up. I'll be getting that. Yeah, me too. I'll be getting that. Uh, World of Plastic Miles says Hadley Page Victor, sorry. <coughs> uh, the Victor was badass. Chris Hughes, the Jaguar was known as the Baby TSR2. Uh, RC Fan says hey, Amir with a in Canada with the Avro Arrow. Uh, Bob Omnia says they still use the Lightning in South Africa. Wow. World of Plastic Modeling. Says Sean Mark, they consume tons of fuel, no stale, still ran on mechanical instruments. They are basically flying medieval castles. What the uh, Vulcan? The Vulcan, yeah. yeah. Yeah, about right. About right. Is that a private person in South Africa who owns a uh, Buccaneer? I don't know. The guy from Castro. The I've seen a show. Black glass buccaneer, privately owned. I don't know, dude. Simon I says the PSR2 was cancelled due to cost. Our government decided to buy the F111, which then became too expensive also, and they decided to buy the Phantom and insisted it's powered by Rolls Royce Bay engines. Oh, is that the uh, space? So nothing changed a lot of the road smaller than I thought. Yeah, they're not as big as you think they are, the Blackhawks, but they're loud. Uh, Blackhawks make a great sound. Yes, they do. And Pedro guys, the Pedro guys who crew them are nuts. Let's see. David says the Vulcan design isn't survivable in modern skies. Uh, James Rutherford says we stopped using the Vulcans when we started using nuclear subs. Well, that's not much of a reason. Yeah, that's a good reason right there. You park those off the coast and it doesn't matter. 
Uh, Gangster number one says, welds and texture finish, picture up on the end of night build thread on the forum if anyone is interested. Ivan, someone's got some build threads up. I will yeah. give another look. Uh, Tiger Tank 2, I still work on MH60S helicopters. Great bird. John Marks. Uh, uh, helicopter. Oh. Yeah, it's a helicopter. Yeah. Well, helicopter. Uh, I, will, I will miss the stallion. <laughs> Stallion's nice. That's a good it's okay. I'm helicopter. right here. Mm. Uh -huh. put uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> John Mark says he's not British, but seems Brits kind of surrendered their aircraft industry and defense industry to the U.S. Sorry, guys. Yep, that pretty much is spot on. Well, the thing is, it is a bit of a case of uh, why, why pay for something which can be outsourced and, uh, horrible to say, but freely outsourced. Because if you could just say to Americans, it's all right, you can put a load of bases here. Oh, okay. You're, you're at the front door of Europe, aren't you? So they're not going to turn around and say no. Yep. There's your free air defense. Simon is 41. Sadly, the spade didn't fit properly, and it, so it was costly to modify. In the end, the cost of the F-111, the Phantom, and the Buccaneer, to some extent, cost three times more than the TSR-2. <laughs> Damn and a shame. Yeah, there's, there's politics working at its best. Yep, it's the same thing yep. with the F-35 right now. Yeah, yeah. but that, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, Brad Pierce, the Huey with the tailpipe mod was the noise. Huey sound is iconic. It is. Watch those Vietnam movies. That whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, that twin blade is just it's such yeah. an iconic noise, isn't it? Uh, Simon says the lightnings are grounded in South Africa right now. Oh. Tiger Tank 2, the single engine and the twin engine Hueys make a great noise. A world of plastic modeling, Sean Mark, more or less correct, mate. We gave many airfields to the Americans, such as Fairford and such, for them to house the planes here. In effect, we kind of took the back seat. Ah, shame. World of plastic modeling, the way the Brits saved money on defense, and America got several air bases almost in mainland Europe, just a stone's throw away from Russia. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, in reality, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's a shame. But it, it does make a lot of financially makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, for us anyway. Six 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 Eddie's in here saying hello. Hello, yeah, Eddie. Uh, David Elbon says evening guys. Any advice on the best CA quick drying glue for the PE? I like the Bob Smith stuff. Bob Smith. Uh -huh. I actually use the deluxe material rocket stuff. I like it. Yeah, pretty easy that. I use this. Not the experiments, Bob Smith. Yeah, I've been using this Tamiya brush stuff. How have you found that? It's okay. It's like the medium rocket stuff. It takes a little bit longer to set. I've got the accelerator. That, that's I, really, really yeah, good. Yeah, I don't have the accelerator. Yeah, really handy little brush. Nice. Mm. Have to buy some then. Take yeah. the stuff you put on one, one of the parts and then glue it together. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to get them some of that next time I do a Japan order. Uh, RJ Pilot says F-35s are all grounded again. Paula says cat. Yep, that was my big one-to-one -one scale cat model. He likes to walk across my desk <laughs> at the most inopportune moments. Oh God, I don't understand with this F-35. How is it for years we've been able to do, most countries have been able to produce pretty good warplanes, but as of recent, they just can't. <laughs> when they were part of the Eurofighter and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. It seems that the more bureaucracy and the more just of these crazy companies get involved in things, the old days of just build a plane that flies. Yep. It's basically a brick with an iPad. Yeah, yeah. well, the F-15 and the A-10 are still in still flying. You imagine he's, as he's flying yeah. along, the little spit symbol comes up spinning around. Oh, hang on a minute, I can't shoot anyone. Hang on. <laughs> yep. Something else. Downloading an update. <laughs> yeah. And as it says, hey guys, let's start this morning, but we'll join in a little while. What if those uh, pilots were at Siri as well? 
Siri. <laughs> Brian Aldridge says, I use laser bond pins on a lot of PE, especially if I'm worried about fogging from CA. Uh, RJ Pilot says, similar road the Bradley went down. Bob Bobbington says, we got all our Harriers back. Uh, World of Plastic Modeling, the Russian pack FA-50 costs a tenth of the F-35 and works perfectly. Yeah. Just and saying. Davis says, the issue of technology is the pace of innovation means designs are obsolete before they go into production. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a video of that F-50 flying around the other day. That looks nice. Well, I, I think it was... Um I remember what, for a little while ago, we had someone in the Hangouts who worked for Boeing who was something to do with the Osprey. And here's the craziness. If he wanted to bring up designs for a part that they wanted to work on, it took them a day for the computer to send the information from one place to another place so that he could work on the designs. And that's in this day and age. It's like, okay. wow. <laughs> it was crazy. Was, yeah, was, I have to download it and I have to come back to it the next day and then I can work on it. I imagine these are very elaborate yeah. <laughs> designs, but still, it's like, that. how? <laughs> you ready to start reading again, Ivan? Ready when you are. <laughs> yeah, just my, like, yeah, but to hear. Cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, Sean oh, Mark. Break. Yeah, it was. Quite nice. We were waiting to hear the toilet flush, but we never did. Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean Mark, pack 50 is the dog's bowl. You can guess that. Uh, Christopher Matthews, greeting gents. Hope everyone is well this evening. Good evening. Zaga, hello. And Roll Corb, do you want to continue, Brett? <laughs> Meant to be sold as part of a multi pack. Only to be sold as part of a multi pack. <laughs> Lilu Dallas multi pack. <laughs> Schwarzenegger doing that one. Yes. Multi pass. <laughs> it was exactly Schwarzenegger. Get to the multi pass. Yeah, I can't I just sound Indian. No, get to there. Um, Brad, uh, <laughs> uh, Brad Pierce. F1 slash 11 uh, got off to a bad start also, but ended up in a very handy piece of kit. Yeah, the F1 11 had its up moments quite a bit. Australia loved it. Yeah, they loved it. Isn't that the kit you bought at Telford, Andreas? Yeah. Yes. That big, massive. Hard oh, work. Basically, yeah, walk. Walk. when are you going to build it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's not, well, not on my list right now. You want to build up PE too, don't you? Yes. As I say, is this your new modeling room where you are, Andreas, or is this just yeah. a room? No, you this is actually my old modeling room turned into a, my boy's bedroom. Yeah, that's the toilet. Oh. I, I noticed the shelving looked quite like perfect modeling. Uh, yeah, my models, my models are up there right now. Yeah, I thought, so I thought. I thought, oh, we found a new room. No, that's the room he's just wishing he still had. Yeah. Uh, Sean Mark, funny how the older aircraft like the A 10 still stand the test of time, while the F 35 seems to be in a cash cow. Indeed. Uh, and is it? Uh, just, just read an international article on the Chinese air show, and they were talking about the J 20. This is a great unknown production ramping up. Yeah. Uh, David S. U.S. Navy was almost forced by F-111s despite it could not land on an uh, aircraft carrier. <laughs> yeah, Imagine. I remember that. Yep. Uh, that story. And then they got the F-14 instead. Yep, and the F-111 went to the Air Force in Australia and a few other countries. Yeah. Uh, World of Plastic Modeling, there is also a new swing wing version of the Pack fa designed and ready for a new Russian-China joint aircraft carrier to be designed in 2019. Correction, foldable wings. <clears throat> uh, 
intriguing. Yeah. Because they already lost half their SU-33s. Mm. Uh, Paul S. Sorry, Cam. On the JSF project should be taking the mothballs out of the F-14s and updating them. New engines, new avionics. That, that would have been brilliant. Uh, Paul S. The F-35 has so many issues as it's based on the Windows 98 operating system. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then they updated to Windows 10 yeah. and it all crashed. Yeah, yeah. all crashed. We've got feedback. Feedback. Before they're all grounded. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> oh, wasn't that fun? That whole year of updates from the, uh, Windows 10. I thought the doll can hang out. Nope. I've been in Mac for six years. I've had to deal with that forever. I'm going to say I haven't had Windows 98 since about 98. I <laughs> Windows 98. Yeah. My last Windows was Vista. I, I must say, Windows 95, when that came out, must have been pretty revolutionary for a uh, uh, computer user. <laughs> XP was good as well. Yeah, yeah XP was Correct. good. Yeah. Just, yeah, just XP, it, XP it. was stable. Yeah, they just yeah. worked. Yeah. yeah. The last system that worked right. Yeah. Can't beat Mac. No, I'm sorry. No. I don't care if you hate them or not. They just work. Yep, they just yeah. work. If I can work a Mac, anybody can. It's hope for me, yet, then, Dan. Look, I've had a Mac, and for the whole time I've used it, I've updated it probably about four times, and every time it updates, it works. Yeah. I turn it back on, and it does everything it did before I did the update. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh. Crave Hepburn. Morning, guys, from Paraparamu Beach. Hello, Paraparamu Beach. <laughs> um, uh, Paul Green, the F-111 based at Upper Hayford, grew up near the base and saw them all the time. Very nice. Should we try and see what uh, uh, Ivan was trying to kill then on the old chat? <laughs> no, it's Paraparamu. Yeah, he's right. Paramo, wow, that's quite a name. You pronounced yeah, it correctly. Hang on, man. Well done. Well done. So, and it's from Scion as well. I'm not going to lie. It's it's because I had to reread it in my head a few times before I actually said it. <laughs> I was like, am I getting this right? Um, uh, the Zid, uh, the F111 sank the TSR2. Australia was going to buy them, but mysteriously changed their mind and got the un. Unproved, uh, got the unproven, the F one eleven, and they loved it. Yep. <laughs> F thirty five chatter, F one eleven chatter. Oh, that's okay. interesting, Ivan. Yeah, what, what David is the S is quite interesting actually. Go. On. So, uh, while the A-10 is a capable aircraft, you wouldn't want to be in a, in one against a cutting-edge air defence system. That arena, <laughs> is, that, no worries. That, that arena is what the F-35 is designed for, and that's why it's delayed. Uh, okay, okay. So, it's electronics. It's, it's more against the... Uh, more trying to evade the electronics instead of out, outrun the electronics. Well, an A-10 couldn't outrun it, but... Well. It had it'll subsonic just, as well. It'll just, it'll just blow it up really well. Yeah, plus, you know, that's just uh, old windows and stuff, chat. Have they managed supersonic with F-35 yet? I'm not sure. It's always in so much trouble. I don't know what it's done. Uh, Nazid, I'm in IT. I have both love the Max just to do stuff. Windows make the money. You know the SU-25, Brett? I think he's very right there. Windows Systems is where it's integrated into works. Well, it does a lot of stuff that you can game on it. You can do all sorts of stuff on it. Well, it's not about gaming, I think. No, I know, but look how much money the gaming industry can make on PC. I don't think that's what he's talking about. To be honest. No, no, but it makes it... That but makes a lot of money. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> Have another tablet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, just a reminder from Guy, the Phantom Freak, non-ISM. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just come all the way from the spray booth. 
Don't mind telling them to have a tab, but have another gay cocktail. I will. Don't worry, yeah. I will. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Back in a minute. I'll be more than happy to have another. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave everybody with that piece of gold and we're back to the spray boot. <laughs> <laughs> Go I'll, ahead, be than, I'll be more than happy to have another berry daiquiri. Okay. Um, anyway, Gee says the front of free non ISM SIG ends in one hour and a few minutes. 30 participants, 30 have finished, almost 50%. Well done, guys. Well done. Hmm. Uh, I'll just skip to the end. <coughs> Right, there we are. I'm back to where it was. Uh, got from this, uh, but the A10 is not for highly contested battlefields. It's CAS CAS supporting the grunts while they clean up. That's close air support, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Paul S F35 is no good against uh, very old heat-seeking missiles. Neither was the F-117, that's why one was shot down. Yep, still put us out here. Yep. Uh, Chris Hughes, I think no country wants a single Royal aircraft anymore. They uh, they want for everything, hence the many issues with airframes. Uh, Paul S, just think Max used the same hardware as PC, but then it, it's... Uh, it's oh, it's in a Mac and it costs twice as much. Hmm. Yeah, it works a lot better for what I need. I disagree. You see, you see, that's the thing. I, I think it really does. I know people, a lot of people. Oh, sorry, really um, I know a lot of people are very much uh, in, in favour of one or the other. I think it really does boil down to what you're going to use it for. If you just want it to use it and go on the net and talk to these guys like this. Max is brilliant for that. Surfing yeah. the net, good for that. Perfect. Making video, a video making a keynote for the shows, brilliant for that. Make, yeah, make edit in a video, brilliant. Editing for that. video and music as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, it's good for. I imagine, but as soon as it comes yeah, to yeah. doing work wise type of stuff on it, I think that's probably where they might find. Maybe that's where they they these people prefer Windows to them, but for for general I need users my for work, Tim. Hey. If I need my MacBook to work, there's something gone wrong in my life. <laughs> yes, Dan. Totally I'm agree. Trying, yeah. There's something seriously gone wrong in my life. Well, no, I will say, well, when I do all the car work and stuff, it's like that we we all have Macs at work, and they are like, Look, I'll send you over the information. Yeah, hang on a minute, we've got Max. Oh, it doesn't work, Max. <laughs> 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 well, well, boys, on that note, I'm going to leave. See you later. See you later, Sam. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, Sam. Take it easy. Later, Sam. Peace, Sam. Bye, Sam. Leave, your, leave on the note about bumming us. Uh, Sean, Mark, uh, maybe I'm just nostalgic, romantic for Cold War and 80s aircraft I grew up with. Oh, yeah. Most people are. <laughs> and is it cool? I'll start... uh, and is it cool? I'll start my Phantom build now. <laughs> uh, Almanish yeah. got to go chaps hospital appointment early tomorrow see you Friday see you Friday Friday uh... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um, <laughs> Mitchell, speaking of Strike Eagle my uh, father's unit helped to run tests on all the components using Strike Eagle project uh, and the <laughs> A10... A10 has just been granted an extension yeah. of service until 2040 at least now Wow, that's because the, the F-35 isn't finished yet. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's supposed to replace it, and it can't. Yeah. <laughs> replace the F-16 as well, or for the Air Force? What is, what is it, Brett? I haven't heard any about the F-16. No one's talking about getting rid of it. Yeah. It's just too cheap to operate. Yeah. Uh... Beyond hope, best thing about Microsoft products is that they keep third-party IT techs in business. Linux and Mac OS rarely fall over. Can't disagree. 
No, I, I know some Max guys near me. They they they, they still go wrong, those Max. They still go wrong. <clears throat> I think they're even they're even they're good money. If you know how to fix a Mac, you're good for your money because there isn't many Mac fixes around the place. Good money. Uh, Strack Eagle, a tennis top notch CSAR support platform as well. <clears throat> uh, Brian Aldridge, the F117 uh, used F15E landing gear and avionics, unless uh, factoid. Useless. useless. Factoid. Unless useless. See, this is what happens when I read so much, I just I start looking at words all wrong. Good practice, <laughs> uh, this lecture kind of tunes it, Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Christopher Matthews, great wall hobby, just dropped an awesome 148th ANG Eagle with some really awesome decals. I know there's a review of that kit <laughs> on high altitude scale modeling. He did a fantastic review of that kit. Oh, no, I had it set from uh, Japan the day it was released. And it's a beautiful kit, man. YouTube, high altitude scale modeling, highly recommended. Once more, just, just in case, building here. High altitude scale modeling. And just put in chat so people can click on your channel, just in case. Here in. <laughs> um, uh, Javier, uh, well, stealth can be shot down, uh, and one CF-117 uh, was over Serbia by a 1960s Soviet missile. Boom. What was the film that they did about the one getting shot down over Serbia? The... the um... They showed him in an F-14, didn't they? Is it an F-14 he was meant to be in? Or an F-18? F-18, behind enemy lines. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, in reality, it wasn't an F-18, was it? No, it was the F-117. But they used the F-18, I think. Yeah, it's, I, was, I was thinking it was that, the same linked story. Like right ejection sequence or Hey, it's got that really good ejection sequence in it. Okay. Yeah, I think the whole evasion scene is brilliant. Yeah. Just skip ahead a little bit. Cause it's all about chatter. Well, the plastic modeling. You would think that all the gossip about aliens and UFOs and stuff knocking around Area Fifty One, there would be some better aircraft coming out. <laughs> Spruce surgeons in the chat. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. I'm going. You're off. You're off now. Yes. See you later. Thank you for later. having me. Thank you for being here. Bye, Andre. Thank you for being a friend. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Gary Pashley, ah, the Cold War, the good old days. Well, we're about to have it again. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's, uh, Partners. Uh Beyond Hope, if the F thirty five is delayed, what's going to fly off the new UK carriers? <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna have carriers. All the carriers we've got is for leprosy. <laughs> That's the only carriers we've got, Ivan. We've got some trolleys. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. Or pallets. Yeah, we've got we've flung some pallets out there. <laughs> Tie some pallets and some barrels together. <laughs> lots and lots of them. Uh, Zid, well, Saudi Arabia just received brand new F-15s, not repurposed, but straight off the production line. It's 35 years old, but it's still cracking plain. Wow, they're still, they're still producing F-15s. Yeah, but they're all loaded, though, aren't they, over there? Them, uh, them sand-digging people, aren't they? Them, uh, what are they... Um, Arabs, fake, whatever they're loaded. They can afford petrol. <laughs> Paul S, it's Ivan's Tongue Twister Tuesday talk show. Yeah, after a while, it just starts to blah, 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 blah. Scott Irvin, uh, he's Scott, uh, my, proves it. Uh, Scott's in chat. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Oh, my good grief. Leave me alone. Oh. I'm tired, I'm drained. Yep, behind enemy lines, the F-18. Uh, Show Mark, yeah, Mark Wahlberg film. That was a Mark Wahlberg, was it? Yeah. Uh, Owen Wilson. 
That, yeah. The man with a massive nose. Uh, Catfan59, greeting from Detroit, just started decaling the Hasegawa Jaguar XGR8LM. Nice. Intriguing. Uh, Aces High, there was a UK Harrier shut down over Bosnia as well. Was it? Was it? <coughs> <coughs> uh, David S, Luke Wilson, not Mark Wahlberg, still wrong. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Andreas, oh, Ed Wilson. Oh, my word, how much chatter. Uh, I got that bit. We'll see. Bye, Andreas. Thank you for the music. Uh, Gary Pashley behind enemy lines was very loosely based on the Scott O'Grady F-16 sh uh, shoot down, not the stealth. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Sean, what well, only carriers we have cost 5p a bag. Yeah, they're 6 now, aren't they? What's that tool on your desk, Ivan, by your hand? These? Yeah, the one with the that one, yeah. Oh, the one with a little torch in it because it costs like two quid and it's a pile of crap. <laughs> You've got one. You had one. I've had one. Ah, I've never seen one before. Yeah, they're really for like girls plucking the noses. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. Who wants that? Who wants that? Who wants that? They said you could buy some ex Chinese former Russian carriers in a few years. We won't want them. Evil Carrot did the Russian shoot down Bono. What? No idea. David S. Royal Navy has more admirals than ships. On my chat skits again. There we go. Back again. Yeah. Well, the plastic modeling. Samsung's have their own army, don't they? We buy their tellies and mobile phones and they build ballistic missiles. And thanks. There you go. They blow up. Attracted. Oh, uh, Fernando Duarte, Freddy's in chat. Uh, Broken Arrow was about the F117 with John Travolta in it, wasn't it? No, Broken Arrow was a movie about Travolta wanting to steal nuclear weapons and get rich. Damn Scientology. Yeah, it didn't get shot down. He, he crashed it so he could steal the nuclear weapons that were on board. And Christian Slater was the good guy. Uh, the Andreas and that fit man Hardy. I assume you're about Tom Hardy, I assume. You do add the fit man Hardy part. No, he didn't, he didn't that. I can see uh, John O'Neill, Broken Arrow was about the B2. But yes, John Travolta. Yeah, Andreas, it's Tom Hardy, guru. John O'Neill, good night, all. Night. 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 Uh, no, David, that's Broken Arrow was about the B3. Oh, and Wilson was in Broken Arrow. No, Christian Slater was in Broken Arrow. Yes, it was about the B2, but it was a fictional story based on John Travolta stealing nuclear weapons to get rich. Oh, Kara, I got Ivan. Someone said you two were shot down over Russia. But no. But if you think, I think it was B2. Uh, Paul S. Uh, Evil, didn't they make that into film? Uh, B2. Yeah, everyone say B2. Uh, Freddy, uh, Desert Storm question? Lol. Mm, Desert Storm. Desert Storm. Uh, David S was Luke, Luke, Luke was Luke Wilson in it then? Who is Luke Wilson? Owen's brother. Thank you for that. Hmm. It genuinely is an all either. Adam Scale Modlins are the <clears throat> Queen Elizabeth class carriers going ahead. 
Mm. Maybe. Only when she dies. Okay. Only when in, in France bills on for us. So when your when's your country going to do that then, Tim? Uh, I am not too sure. Uh, I will message them later and uh, give them a bit nudge nudge. In your fluent French tongue. <laughs> Uh, Frank Randall's going. Good night, gents. Goodbye. Good yeah, night. Nice. Andreas is having cashew nuts and apple juice. I know why. It's going to repeat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chris used two or three of them are under construction. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, Nick McVeigh. Oops, the missus just found a spitfire in the bathroom that I hung from the shower rail to dry. <laughs> there goes a the quiet evening. Muscles, <laughs> back of hand. Quiet down, why? Uh, <laughs> obvious thing. Broken Arrow, is that what they call the situation when a nuke is lost? Yeah. Yes. I, I suspect there's other words that they might use as well. Yeah. <laughs> Say one of them, Dan. We need five bucks. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Bob Bobbington, don't put Marmite on it. Evil Carrot, Luke Wilson, isn't he the last Jedi? Oh, dear. Uh, David Hale, I've just started a scratch build of the Star Fox R Wing. It's just been really fun. <clears throat> oh, Adam's going models. Bye, guys. I'm off. Goodbye. Bye. And Andreas, I won't. Cool. Uh, Paul Green, David Hale, I'd love to see that. Sorry, Andreas. Uh, James Rutherford thought Broken Arrows was used by the US Army if they were in trouble and needed air support. Who knows? Mm. Draw Dog. <laughs> Greatest playing film ever. Connor with Nick Cage. No, nah, it's, nah, it's not. Firefox. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Cock Hmm. Uh, Freddie, speaking of carriers, mm. Trumpy has the 1350th Gaff Zeppelin uh, German aircraft carrier. Yes, they do. I was looking at that the other day. It's good. Then I realised it was German and not Japanese. So you panicked and bought it? No, nope, one Japanese. Japanese Navy, the other ships I want to build. So which, which ships have you got then? None. I've not committed to buying any of Japanese ships yet. Which ships have you got though, Ivan? Uh, I've got a German show. <laughs> I've got I've Prince Eugen. Trumpy. I'm, I'm glad you're sticking to your principles there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Adam Scale Models. Uh, 6.2 billion each year, apparently. Uh, Beyond Hope. Yes, James. Used in the film, we were soldiers as well when the USLZ uh, landing zone um, was in danger of being overrun. Evil Cat, that's an expensive kit. Uh, Sean Mark, Firefox was cool. Aces High, awesome. Aces High, Iron Eagle, Andreas, Top Gun. Excitable. Iron, Iron Eagle. Iron. Oh, it first then, though. Yeah. Other, other seven that they did after that were a bit pants. Uh, it's a film you were a Flight of the Nogator for me. Uh, Excel Double Double says, take uh, what Hollywood movies say with half grain of salt. What? Take what Hollywood movies say with half grain of salt. So, so E-Man's not real? <gasps> I'm devastated now. Uh, Bob Bobbington, Earth Force One with Harrison Ford. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I do, they a bit unbelievably unreal about that bit and that's that where they've got a separate like prison that they can just eject out of plane i don't believe that they've got one in real life i think it's just a secure plane and nobody will be able to go on it size scale models snakes on a plane <laughs> oh my good god simon, <laughs> simon slap yourself silly uh Oh, you 
Mark, get your thoughts. I'd like to do another commercial announcement. Please feel free. I just got this hot off the presses. Just walked in my door. Oh, I'm back. Ball Pult and Defiant. I'll be doing a review on it tonight and comparing it to the Airfix one. Nice. I didn't even know that was out yet. I'm a sneaky bastard. I can tell. So, another reason to watch my channel tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to have to give that a watch because I wanted that one. It's got some PE in it and some decals in it. It's got oh. the Night Fighter version in it. You lucky devil, you. So, something else I'll be showing on Friday of my new what I got in. Very nice, very nice. Okay, another very jealous. commercial announcement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Brian H. Broken Arrow first, uh, refer refers to a lost nuke weapon. Uh, so crucial explosion or stolen weapon. So critical, sorry. There we are. A few people have said that now, so I'm assuming that's the one. Check, you skipping. Uh, Bob Busey and Revel just announced Queen's Guard Kit 1 6, I think it is. Yep. Evil Carrot. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. Snakes on a plane was hilarious. I'm not saying that. Hilarious with pants. With pants. Uh, words are. Andreas, what was the plane movie called with the AI drone that vent rogue? Oh, yeah. No clue. Yeah, there, there was one where it was, uh, it was slightly futuristic. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Slightly futuristic where... There, there was like a refueling station sort Delph. of hovered, uh, that did a little pattern in the sky and it was like just a massive balloon and it held refueling so the planes could fly at refuel and carry on flying. Uh, there's another futuristic film. What the hell was that? Oh, that's annoying. I can't remember that hell. Uh, Norman, Flight of the Intruder was a good film to watch, especially the Sandy Banking Fly Pass. Yeah, there's some good footage in that movie of Sky Raiders. Uh, apparently, the film's called Stealth. Yeah. Uh, Mark says airplane. Yeah. Wow. Surely you can't be serious. Yeah. That's a good film, I bet. I know it is. But you, uh, yes. You ever seen the Grand Man Naked? <laughs> Turkish prison. They're asking if bastard is a swear word. No. Nope. I didn't think so, or else I wouldn't have said it. No. I know you're not Tim. Yeah. You're including that, you bunch of vultures. <laughs> uh, Andreas says, who has seen the final countdown? That was a good movie. Uh, Freddie says, uh, Russell Case from Independence Day. Uh, Paul Green, the radar operator in Airplane, is Mike from Breaking Bad. Uh, stuff. Oh dear me, just skipped. I thought I was at the bottom then, I'm nowhere near the bottom. Uh, Firebirds with Nick Cage. Christopher Matthewson. Steve Wilk, failsafe. Oh, model question. Uh, Plinton, is, uh, there, is there any other 3D site that offers detail for model except Shapeways? Uh, they're, they're, yep. the only, they're the only people I know out there that are producing 3D uh, 3D parts at the moment. Um, other than that, you've got to print them yourselves. You can find that if you can make the pl your own plans out there. Depends what you want, though. Uh, Simon says Memphis Bell, great film. Yeah, quality. That's a very, very good film. I've never seen it. Hey, I've never seen it. Oh, that's that's a shame. I've you got to see that one, dude. Good classic, that is. Very good. Probably film. build your B seventeen. <laughs> yeah, that's why I buy a B seventeen for. Uh, Evil Car says Hot Shots. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> Simon says the best film with planes has got to be Die Hard 2. Yeah, good film. True Lies. True Lies, yeah. Mm. There you go. Good use oh, of the Harry. Nice use of. Uh, mm hmm. What's her name's legs? What's her name? Yeah. Uh, um, Jamie Lee Curtis. That's the one. Yeah. I just watched True Lies last week. I watched it last week as well. I haven't watched that for a long time. Uh, Johnny Blythe, good film on Good Friday. I watched it yet again over the weekend. <laughs> Evil Carrot, Darth Vader got... Darth Vader got fat in Red October, though. I wonder if his oh. jokes were about to get better. Bob, you seen Battle of Britain? Uh, Sean Mark, Black Hawk Down. Uh, same person, Dan Busters. Yeah. Bit of an oldie, but definitely a goodie. And that's what I know. Uh, Brian H. Full Metal Jacket was a good war picture. Very good. Yeah, behind in the lines, as we said before. Uh, Christopher Matthews' Apocalypse Now. Hey, have we just gone into normal films now? Well, I don't think so, yeah. So it's gone from air aircraft films to just films. To war films. Where's the type uh, of potato? Sweet. Simon I, 633 Squadron. Leave me alone. The long night. Um, Bob Bolton, Sink the Bismarck. Uh, Bob Busing, the last Red Baron movie was really good too. Uh, James Rutherford saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers. Ace is high. Trivia Memphis Bell and the Paris Island parts of Full Metal Jacket were filmed in the same location. Alright. Uh, that's in Bomb. Christopher Matthews, Flyboys, Bob Bobbington, Blue Max, Flyboys again, Freddy Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. <laughs> now we're just getting ridiculous. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to just leave these. I want to do this. That's how he's getting. You like your what? I said I like the Goonies. Oh, I thought you said it. Anyway. No. <laughs> you like big what? But I cannot lie. You other brothers can deny. <laughs> Just everyone mentioning war films now. <laughs> Not even war films. Heartbreak Ridge. Oh, bless you. That's an excellent film. Yep. Everyone's hating Pearl Harbor. I'm not teaching you this because I want to be taking cold showers with you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mind Pearl Harbor. No, Pearl Harbor wasn't as bad as some people think. Red Tails was cool. Really? Red Tails was a little rubbish. Yeah. It's not Red Tails because there's yeah. the other movie that's better. I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, Red Tails could have been a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Red 
Right. Left. Yeah. Uh, Normandy, right. Good night, folks. Early rise mm-hmm. tomorrow. I'm babysitting all day. See you later. See you later, Normsky. Hey, Scotty. Indeedy. Uh, Mike Yo or Mike Yo. Uh, do any of you use liquid masking materials, and if so, what kind? Um, and I use both Mr. Masking Solution by Neo and the new stuff from Aptalon. Aptalon. Yeah. I use the Aptalon stuff. It's the only one I use. Is there some on clear parts, though? No, on clear parts. I haven't used the Aptalon on clear parts yet. Is there a problem? No, it's fine. I always find the Masking Solution make more of a mess than good. No, I use them for chipping and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I use this for clear parts. Well, when the Edward masking sets has got those little yeah. notches and you're supposed to fill in the rest, that's when I use it. But this masking set is a little bit cool. Uh, Ace is high, gotta go as well, I'm afraid. Enjoy the chat tonight. Even managed to get some tank tracks painted. Until Friday, all. Uh, See you Friday. Friday. Uh, Jump of life. I use the Vallejo masking stuff. Horrible to clean up. Yep. Oh, all my battery charges tomorrow. <clears throat> goody, goody. Oh, yeah. He says his batteries are charged, but he's actually got a nuclear weapon in his corner. <laughs> Don't tell everyone. I didn't. I only told 100 people. <laughs> well, that's a good, strong 100, so we like that. Yep. Oh, Bob Busey, uh, PVA glue for masking fluid. Yeah, so that'll work, would not it? Yeah. That's quite a good here, actually. I've never thought of that. I haven't either. No. Yeah. I suspect there's an experiment coming up at some point with that. I expect you're right. Ivan, you're in charge of that. Uh, oh, I'll give it a try. I've got plenty of spur canopies going around. There you go. You're the world. <laughs> You're bomb. I was about okay. to ask Ivan a question about the guns on my Stuqua, but I found the color picture. The big guns under the wings, they're painted blue up until the point where they're over the edge of the wing, and then they're painted green, including the barrel. Indeed. Dang. See what happens when you read a book? <laughs> uh, Nazid, Paul, the javelin is looking very, very good. Uh, those new tooled Earthix kits seem excellent. Mm, very good. Oh, uh, Dance, I'm off two guys, uh, and the challenger has been shelved. I'm hating weathering it. Speak with you guys tomorrow. See you later. Uh, Andre says he's done it down. It works a treat. Mm. That might be a good tool to have in the old back pocket. Yeah. Did you put in your front pocket? No, it might leak. <laughs> D 
Uh, Christopher Matthews question any opinions on the 135th of Thamo from Tamiya with trailer kit um, yeah, very 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 good kit so it's one of Tamiya's classic wonderfully perfect builds there you are big yeah a good amount of parts in it builds up easy enough Excellent stuff. Mm. Not my words. What are your words? Spice World. Spice World. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing a 262 as Pretty Boy from Red Tails. Ooh. Uh, I agree with Andreas. Oranges! Yeah. And lemons. And the bells are so lemons. XL Double Double. Uh, new product to add to the toolkit uh, Crayola Model Magic. It's like clay, comes in at multicolours, air uh, dries in 72 hours. Mm. Crayola. Crayola. The crayon company. Hmm. What things you eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, them things. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Simon says mutiny. <laughs> Andres is thinking of doing the 262 Night Fighter at some point. That'd be good to see. You should do that, Andreas. You should do that. You should do that after the PE2. It's a weird voice. I know, it was more like Steve Davis than anything else. Oh. Okay. Uh, David S, what's the best plaster like material for diorama base building? Uh, plaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is as well. Just good old wall plaster. If you want to make it a little bit tougher, mix white glue in with it. See, I'm I'm going to disagree with you, Tim. Oh, you always got to in you, eh? Oh. It depends. It depends if you're going for an airfield type situation. Believe it or not, just go down to your local B and Q and spend a fiver on the lightest compost to do. It's it's very very light and just mix that with some water water down PVA glue and it makes the best base ever and then you can chuck grass on it and it don't crack it don't shrink it just stays in the whatever form you shape it in is what it stays in it's dry compost or, or wet wet stuff well obviously you're wetting it with PVA aren't you yeah, but does it come out does it come dry though the compost hey does the compost you mean do you mean like the soil Compost. Yeah, in a, yeah, compost in a bag. I buy light mix for other purposes. Does, um, doesn't it take a long time to dry out though? No. No. Nope. Cool. And it works a treat. And if you're doing a desert scene, believe it or not, if you get uh, um, kiddie sand, that works as well as, uh, and that one don't crack and shrink. You can mix that with water down PVA, and that works a treat too. Cool. Top tip. Uh, right, we uh, world of plastic modeling. Ivan, you might know. Question: There is a Mark V tank in Battlefield One called Black Bess. Was it real named World War One tank? Yes, it was. It was lost in Cam Cambrai. Cambrai. Don't know how to No. no. <laughs> the Andreas SU two for. Oh, you did the SU two for the PT. That's cool. Uh, Beyond Hope, 
uh, found out this weekend that battery-powered coffee frothers who are, work great as paint stirrers, but uh, no good for coffee afterwards. Well, I'm, I'm going to say no, because it makes paint frothy, and that doesn't work very well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gee, I'm out of here, peeps. See you Friday. Bye-bye. Uh, Later. Uh, Christopher Matthews, does anybody... Uh, does anybody... As, uh, does... No, I was right. Has, Has anyone... Uh, leave me alone. I'll just take your time. Has anybody got an opinion on the HK Models 132B25 gunship? The one with the 75mm nose cannon. Um, well, they'll just be slightly different parts than what's in the other two versions, which is the Strafer and the Bomber. And I've got the Bomber, and the kit looks beautiful. Looks better than the B-17. Uh, they'll just be slightly different parts for, obviously, the gun. Um, I've got a review of the, the Bomber version on my channel if you want to go and see that. Um, they'll just be slightly different parts. That's all I can say about that. Uh, all I say about that. It's all I have to say about that. Uh, Yuval wants John to smoke the bone with him. No. <laughs> um, oh uh, Spruce Surgeon, yeah, he's answering the question. I answer yes, it was a real named tank called Black Bess. Uh, Gary Patrick, all the HK model B25s are great. Yes, they are. They look beautiful. Brian H., what is the best thing to remove a dab or two of cured superglue from a model to do uh, to do the location sanding is out of question? Will acetone work? Yeah, but it might be a model as well. I was going to say that will just destroy it. You can get a debonder, a superglue, a specialist superglue debonder. That sometimes works occasionally if you're lucky. The wind's blowing in the right direction. On a Wednesday. Yeah. But only an afternoon after dinner. Yeah. Anything before that. <clears throat> Nearly swear words. Uh, Stuart. Sorry, guys. Feeling pretty rough, so I'll say good night. And the javelin's looking pretty awesome, Paul. Okay. Only pre. Oh, you feel better soon. Talking to me? No. Oh. Although I still hope you feel better soon. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's not what I said earlier, Tim. Before you joined, you were hoping that you were going to cough a lung up. Oh, was it? Oh. Don't say that. <laughs> you were saying some really evil things. Card marked, Ivan. Card marked. Has my card ever been clean? Uh, no, you're a... Uh, anyway. Mm. Uh, Alexi. Uh, which acrylic colours are better? From Homebrew or Vallejo, speaking from your experience, both of them are pretty bad. Well, if I was to after them two, I'd go for Vallejo. Vallejo, yes, but I, I don't like the modeler. It depends. Yeah. If you get it and use it straight away... Which modeler? Who? You. Yeah. Right. I've, got, I've got tons of bottles of it. When I first came into Obby, I bought tons of them, uh, tons of them off Amazon. You still got them? Yeah, got quite a lot of them here, yeah. <laughs> no, I got them for when I were um, I bought tons of like armour stuff from Tamiya off Amazon. I bought the paint test to go with them, but they're just awful. It's before I started talking to you lot. What's up there? Excuse me? Ow! Yeah, so out of both of them, I'd pick Vallejo over Humbro because I've heard literally nothing but bad things about Humbro. Uh, David S. Vallejo modeler are nice, but masking is a pain. I don't know, I just don't find the spray nice and the colours aren't good. Depends what you're using them colours for. John, um, I found a couple of colours worked really well. Yeah. And I found a couple of colours just were useless. But a Marmite paint, you have a look at him. Yeah. 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 I well, I, I found the colours to be Marmite. You found one colour which is brilliant, and then you pick up the next bottle, and the next colour was just horrible to use. So, yeah. No consistency. 
Yeah. It's <laughs> a shame because they, they're, they're, their color range is brilliant. It does yeah. cover pretty much everything out there. But, but you, you can get two colors. Well, you can get three bottles. They've got all got the same code, same color, and they're all three different sheds. World of plastic modeling. Anyone tried the Citadel uh, uh, or Air? I'm struggling to get uh, it to spray fine. P.S. Spraying some Space Marines for a mate. Run in, run in the chat. Else. I want to say sharp in chat if it's there, and it should be because his tell is broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've used it on a couple of things. It's pretty good. Maybe try that. I don't know if they did. Well, they did an Air version. Yeah, it's really doing it. Mm. Ivan's probably the expert on. No. Nope. I would no. say Ivan's probably got full range. I've only got uh, the only Citadel things I have are the wash. Uh, well, they're called shades, aren't they? But I've got some shades, growing shade. David S. I like the fact that they come uh, that you can buy them in sets, and the dropper bottles are handy for accurate mixing. And Simon says, "I think he fell asleep." Simon fell asleep. Indeed. He just typed it really well with his forehead. <laughs> We mashed it. Yeah. Skills. <laughs> now he's got one of them nose pens. <laughs> <laughs> it works his eye quite a lot. <laughs> I'm so, I feel so ashamed that I know what them pen things are for. I feel so ashamed. Cabbages. It's one of the best fitting canopies I've had from Ethics. Oh my. Two of the three pieces hold themselves in with all of them. Tabs. Cool. And the last air bone's going to need a dabber. PVA to hold it in. Do you know a little tip for people out there in the modern world? You know, if you are using super glue to glue anything near glass, if you put it on something, preferably glass, uh, for about 10 minutes and let all the vapor come off, it should not. Or glass after that. Another top tip for the old pot pickers. Excellent. Um, it's mad. Like you started that. Well, how long have you been building this? Like a week. It's two weeks on Sunday, I think. And like really? you'll, fin you'll, you'll still finish it before leaders. Ooh. It's a blow <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's a home blow. You've been very harsh tonight, Ivan. Yeah. You've had one da you've had one daiquiri and you've gone all the way. Ivan's now ten men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scott's in chat. He said he saw his picture on the hangout and said there will be six more weeks of winter. I think it's not about John, I think. Uh Bob Busking, I bought the Vallejo RLM sixteen colour set from my Stuka build. And was happy with the results. Did thin and add flow enhancer twit. You know, I seen somebody put up on one other pages the other day. I seen they put a recipe up. What oh they, God! It was like ten drops of this. Yeah, and they were yeah. using uh, pretty much all of the Vallejo paint range. They were using. Yeah. I was commenting that he. Oh, you could just use UMP, can not Yeah, <laughs> they were using uh, model color, model air, and otherwise, and then about 20 drops of this other stuff and i couldn't believe what i was reading it made me chuckle yeah. why would you do why would you sit there and waste your time like that there cabbages you need dinner, it's got everything in it you need yeah just yeah just bang that in it walk away I might get this in Primer by the end of the show. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, of course. Yeah, I primed mine just before we come live, and now I've painted it and done some detail painting, and it's just going to get a gloss coat in a minute. Uh, Excel double doors. Some people do like doing things the hard way. They do indeed. 
No jokes. <laughs> so counter. Yep, I knew I knew it. Uh, don't know some uh, Johnny wife. Uh, they like to say I did that. I did with my own hands. I have no idea. Andreas is going to continue collecting a campaigns. <laughs> Good on you. Good on you. He's doing pretty well so far, isn't he? I got the MRPs to try on this. I mean, I've had tried them before. Tried them when they uh, first released. When we released our thinner because they said acrylic. I got a bottle near right and I was like, they're not acrylic. <laughs> they spray beautiful. So. I got all the colours for this, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, that icons are good. Uh, Mark Zaff, good night everyone, enjoy the rest of the show. Good night, Mark. Alright. World of Plastic Modeling just ordered my first ever bottle of Ultimate Primer, 120mm black. No jokes. Who's that? That was World of Plastic Modeling. Oh, you will love. Richard. Richard. Possibly. Possibly. Possible. Why well, weren't we trying to talk to your Tom uh, It wasn't he. I knew he actually understood him. <laughs> Nearly. Uh, Alexi uh, recently bought Ammo MIG Camo Green just to try compare uh, aggressive adverts here in Ukraine. Uh, seems positive to uh, seems positive at least they got a mixing ball inside. Yeah, they're all right. The ammo colours. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm? Too problematic. Yeah, I've, I've tried a few bottles. Obviously, you know, that is real set. So I've got a few. They seem all right. They, uh, to me, they don't leave the nicest finish. I like a full range of them. Full range, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, the plastic modeling, yes, it is Richard. Remember that one? Richard Roller Cup Eyes. Oh, have you changed your name? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Cutaway. <laughs> Cut away, cut away. Mr. Cutaway. I, 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 Richard, I love the old uh, ISM Pimp My Ride. <laughs> I like the idea of that one. Uh, but basically, I got them because the box had all the colours I needed and were most accurate for RLM. I love the, I love the accuracy for the RLM colours. They look really good. I'm, I'm going to disagree on the accuracy of those. I'm not there for RLM. Just on some of the colours I got there in my other. But, as long as you're happy, so it happens. I had a full, as a first full range of paint I started from seven years ago. So I got back into this. And there was nothing but pain in the house. Just noticed you're not a fan of the Montex on that kit. What the fuck? I've had the same issue on the front, uh, front canopy on the Stuka. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Blythe, Ammo has a beautiful finish, uh, thinned with Mr. Hobby self leveling thinner. Well, that was me that found that out. Thanks for that pop margin.
cabbages and greens. <laughs> You know what I think I might buy? A bike. A bike. A bike? I was looking over at you know, the uh, Super Metallics. A pedal bike? No, a, a, a model bike. Oh. No. <laughs> Me on a pedal bike. Well, you said you were going to the gym. I thought this might be a whole new Ivan. Yeah, that was fun. No, I was, I was there this morning. I was... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> well, I did go. I turned up. Yeah. <laughs> that, was step, that was step one. <laughs> yeah. That was all right. Just... Um, Really stuffy. <laughs> well, people make heat, don't they? Buy a bike. <laughs> Buy a... Mom's a bike. <gasps> Down to town and Richard Cycles. Javier, question. I bought MIG USA uh, Navy colour set for my Corsair, but they seem to they seem to grey instead of blue. Is that a real problem with MIG colours or is something uh, or was I? I just sorry, my chat skipped. Or was I <laughs> wrong about U.S. Navy colours the whole time? No, you're uh, you're better off with the Acan set. It's a lot more accurate. Oh yeah, I'm, gl I bought, I'm glad I bought that set at Telford. The uh, U.S. Navy Navy set. That and the SU-27 set, but it was the wrong SU-27 because because it was. <laughs> Simon says buy a bike. I agree. Andrea says you need to try all the ACAM sets. Uh, what's Richard, what's up, bike? Get it, bike? You get gonna get? I'm. I'm not getting a bike. Oh, model or real? I don't know. Whichever you're talking about. Model. I'll probably get a Panigale because it seems simple. Seems simple. Uh, Richard, love it how uh, you get an order confirmation instantly on Facebook Messenger. That's really good. That that is proper 21st century use technology right there. Yeah, I love that. As soon as you put your order in, you get a message through. Off your MP. Yep. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Andre says, buy a ship. <laughs> buy a ship. Buy a ship. Michael Mitchell says, Roxanne. Ooh. Who's Roxanne? Roddy <laughs> Hell. Come in. Is that loud for your ears, Ivan? Who? Loud for your ears. Oh, because I wear a headset and every, every noise that made. Uh, what? Words. Who's banging? Jimmy. Nothing to do with me. Yep, yeah, that's you. <laughs> um, but you're going to sleep. <laughs> I'm all right now, the coffee's kicked in. <laughs> Uh, Michael Mitchell, surprised none of you guys aren't working on the Roden C141. Don't have it. Don't even know what that is. That's the that's that new Roden plane in it, the little one, Cessna. Oh. Right. <clears throat> Might get another drink in a minute. The drugs are starting to work. Gary Pashley, nobody builds trash haulers. Oh. Pardon? I don't know. If someone made a good model kit of one, I might. What's a trash a trash what? Trash hauler. I, I think a lot of that civil that type of stuff is actually it's it's, it's an area where I think it will sell. I know it's weird and it is a bit odd, but I think it will sell. Uh, Bob Busking, I found the best USN dark sea blue is English Navy Craft Acrylic. Acan does that Navy set. That's what I did my Corsair. I did three models. To me, that colour looks spot on. I researched that colour a lot. There's a whole thread on the forum of me researching that dark sea blue. And uh, I found it the best. Uh, Simon Eyes, no, it's a C141 Starlifter. Oh, um, that's that's a Lonnie class type of uh, kit, that is. Oh, right. Right, so I'm going to prime this. Roger. Who's Roger? My name's Paul. 
Oh! Welcome to the jungle. <clears throat> You go, girl. You've been watching the latest episode of your favourite TV programme, Ivan? Uh, would that be uh, Drag Race? Mm. No, it doesn't start till March. Oh. Season oh. 9 starts March. How are you going to cope with that? Um, to be honest, um, it's, I've managed What's so far. Well, yeah, that, I'm not going to lie, that's exactly what I'm doing. While well, I'm waiting for that, I'm watching all seasons. I can tell you the winner of every season. Please don't. Yeah, don't bother. Why? Well, because I'm sickening. No, I'll drive to your house and beat <laughs> I put in five for that. <laughs> uh, Gary, actually the C141 star lifter replaces the USAF uh, s service by the C17 Globemaster cargo planes trash haulers. Ah, now it makes sense. Cool. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Da, da, da. I'll see you. I've actually told me what it is. It's one of those. It's one of those. I need myself another drink. Do you know what I do like? I do like Albion Brass Rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it cuts real easy. Cuts real easy, and I just made two a front and a rear axle in this kit, and they all the wheels go round like a bus, dude. like a bus, like a bus, like a bus. Andreas, right, one forty-eight, seventeen. Seems to have lost the wheel, Ivan. <laughs> Wasn't me. It was Mister Wheelie Steely. Uh, <laughs> that was with Wheelie Steely. May the best woman win. Seriously, though, where the hell was that? Now you don't my issue. It just vanished. Nothing just vanishes. Liar. Well, actually, saying that, I just remembered I dropped a bolt at work today and I remember to find that. That's what comes into your head in the evening, isn't it? Christopher Matthews. It's going to be a morning. No? You know. It's yeah. going to be gone at right, your head for morning. No, I'll drive to work and then suddenly, oh, why not that? Uh, Christopher Matthews, you know what would be awesome? A 132B29 Super Fortress. That would be massive. And Bobby is off to bed, uh, back to work for me. Bye bye. Well, you're not off to bed, but <coughs> back to work. Righty night. Maybe. Yeah, the Bob Bobbins in the 132 Peacemaker. Isn't HPH... Uh... No, it's 148. It's 148. 132 is impossible. 48's big enough, isn't it? 48's big enough, yes. 72 is big enough. Because the 72, for a long time, was the largest plastic model kit available. Oh, wow. So 48 would just be... scary. Jumbo. Uh, Michael Mitchell, uh, there are a lot of trash haulers out there. The C-130 in 72 and 48. The C-141 in 144th and 1200th. AN-76, Russian copy of the C-141 in 144th. Gary Patterson, you can get the 132nd VAC Form B29 from Combat Models. Saw one at a show. Huge beast. Um, beyond hope, there are some YouTube videos of RC B29s in one fifth scale. My God, that's big. Uh, Nick McVeigh uh, read read about someone using uh, is it copy decks copy decks for masking camo detail and then just peeling it off after airbrushing. Has anyone tried this? Does it work? Uh, uh, copy decks off my hands when I was a kid at school. Mm. It felt disgusting, but yeah. 
Oh, well then. You, you not, do you not, you never have a hat, you never had copy nets at school, Ivan? What is it? It's like a glue. But it goes stringy when it's stuck, when you leave it from your hands for a while, you can peel it off and it goes like stringy rubber. Uh, no, we just had PVA. Yeah, oh, copy decks is so much better. Do you know what? You probably can't get the copy decks we used to get when we were kids. Do you know what they made it out of? Go on. Fish guts. Oh. And it did Lovely. smell a bit iffy, but it was brilliant stuff. Uh, Simon says he loves the smell of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> a weird smell, but it is quite nice. Uh, RC fan, a 148 B52 would be great. There was a British company that was going to make one as Evacuform. <clears throat> That'd be massive. Ginger Ninja, hello, hey ho. Bit late, what did I miss? Everything. One or everything. Had, yeah, we've had 90 giveaways, six circus clowns, and a full pizza. <laughs> and Tim stayed awake. Yeah, stayed awake. And no one swore yet. Bob Bobinson says peanut butter. Because why not? Summarize, if I could have any model kit built for me from a decent company, it would be a Martin Baker MB5 in either 124 or 32 scale. I would I would sew that. Indeed. Uh Javier OSU H U Universal Glue. Just right for you. Uh, copy decks is on eBay. <laughs> I just, God, I hate clowns. Don't blame you. <laughs> Indeed. Sounds so sad. I'm crashing in into my little world. Nice, Eddie Kit. I would have the 148 Book Rogers f <laughs> fighter thingy. The Dodgers. That's an animal. Animal. Still 85 watching with 71 likes. So if you haven't liked or disliked already, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Telling us what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you'd like to see. Oh, just watch a very, watched a very cool video of an R32 Skyline launch from 8,500 RPM. Excellent. That thing. <laughs> you haven't got a clue what I'm saying, everyone. Nope. I was actually just... Uh, Nigel said he, was, he might have a drink or two. I'm going to suggest him he gets a berry daiquiri. <laughs> Everyone needs to drink a berry daiquiri. Delicious. No one needs to drink a berry daiquiri. Everyone needs to drink a berry daiquiri. No one who wants to stay a heterosexual. Do you like pina coladas? Uh, David S. I would love Kinetic's rumoured 124th Griffin engine Spitfire. Oh, 124th Kinetic. Oh, well, they did the T47, didn't they? Uh, Bob Bunton, who was doing the 172 bear? That is Brett. That is me. It is over there. Over there. Over there. He's over there, Jeff. RC fan used to use horsehide glue for glue chipping glass. Had to make it up using a uh, double boiler. The smell was something else. Oh, imagine. Uh, actually, oh, uh, R34 BR launch control, Tim. Question? Say again. R34. No, R32. Oh, R32. Yeah, with a full launch control. 
you can see it go, it launches off at eight, eight and a half thousand rpm and you see all, all four wheels spin and it just gets grip and goes uh people, they'll be off a stick oh yeah uh people want to see the bear brett and they want to know how it's going the bear is in three pieces lies <laughs> in the two wings so i'm trying to decide where to hang it and i don't want to put it together because i can't put it together and sit it anywhere mm. but i'll show it on friday because the decals and everything are on it it's just in three sections I actually have no table big enough to put it on. <laughs> you you think you're hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, I'm hanging from the ceiling. I just haven't decided where yet. She's a big bugger. Yep. We yeah, also it Friday. Uh, Nige, what's everyone building then? Sorry, you've already been asked this a million times tonight, but it's pancake night, and I've consumed many pancakes. <laughs> I try so, pancakes. Paul is building. He's currently priming his javelin. Uh, Tim is um, doing things. Himself. <laughs> Sticking. I'm putting my sorting out my wheels and uh, fit, putting suspension location points and making everything a bit more stable on the El Camino. Brett I is doing. Finished, Sorry? I just finished dry brushing the engine and I'm about to wire it up. Mm hmm. Very nice. And the Stuka. <coughs> Dan is. I'm doing a uh, 40k uh, Razorback tank for Space Marine thing. Very nice. What are you doing, Ivan? I am reading chat and thinking of things. While well, thinking of things? Uh, sure, Mark asks who makes the Burbret? It's a 172 scale trumpeter kit. Boom. Uh, Gary Pashley, ceiling hanger for sure. Give it an F4 Phantom Escort. Actually, I'm going to give it a Eurofighter Escort because there's a picture of it in the English Channel being escorted by a Eurofighter, so I want to do that. That's cool. Uh, Nige, Tim, <laughs> those reels you showed on Facebook. Uh, yep. If so, they look great. Yep, they did look absolutely, they are lovely wheels. They did, they look really nice. Yeah, they're really good quality wheels. That company's, like what that company produced, are oh, super duper. Super trooper. Will you ever find me? <coughs> and Sean Mark says, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Welcome in. We ought to come in. Remember to tune into Friday's show where we'll have giveaways, chatter, what we've been building, what we've been buying. You can tell I'm not less, can't you? Ivan gets an extra special 30 minutes for what he's been buying because he missed a week. Wow. Oh, well, I did miss a week, didn't I? Oh, I need to go, I'm going to have to get it all up in a pile. Yep. Oh, I made this long time slot for you last week, and you weren't even here. Disgraceful, I know. None of us had all that much last week. Now we all got a bunch. Yay! <laughs> now it's going to be quiet for a bit while he glues his Stuka wings. Good luck. Sure, Mark. Another giveaway. I won't win. Everyone's got a chance. Look at all the people who say, I never win anything. Then they go and win. You've got to be in it to win it. Yeah. Everyone's got the same amount of chance. I don't have a chance. I, apart from what's like here. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've realised that I have what all low riders have the problems with on this kit. The uh, the fact that there's no room 
once a car is lowered for the exhaust. Sure. Yeah. You got to yeah. either tuck it up higher in the suspension or not set it so low. Well, I am going to go with side exits just behind, the, uh, just at the back of the front wheel arches. There you go. Oh, well. Um, what I'm thinking I might try and do is actually cut them into the body. Actually have them coming out the body. Yeah, they've done that sometimes. Yeah. Well, stick side pipes on them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, like the hind has those the exhausts that come out. Yep. Like a little like that, maybe. But I, I was hoping not to have to buy any uh, any rods to do that, and it now looks like I'm going to need to. Stephen Thornton. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> Nigel says, take the exhausts over the roof like a rat rod. <laughs> <laughs> As it's sort of like a truck, but I should have really done it. Just put some big stacks out the back, then, you know. You could have done that too. Yeah. Simon I says, uh, I guess it's your own design then, Tim, uh, not from a picture, etc. No, this is my car. Coming out of Tim and his hair. And a lot of this is just as I go along, I'm like, ooh, that'd be cool. The good thing about being a plastic kid is you can just do it. Um. Gary Presley, oh great, now I've got the Wars low rider song going through my head. Oh, I love that train. And Stephen oh, Thornton. Going a low rider. Yeah. Stephen asks, what's the best Stuka model in 148? Probably the new Urfix one. Yes. The old Hassi is old. Yep. The Italieri is an Italieri. Well, I think Andreas has been having proper problems with his Atari, uh, the Italieri one. Yeah, so if you're going 48. The new Airfix one, yep. Airfix is your way to go. RC fan, have to go. Thanks for helping me through the very rough day. Not a problem. Come back Friday. Chat yeah. to you then. No, yep. get out. Come back Friday and win. Win big. Uh, Nigel says the Airfix one because he's building that right now. Cool. Do 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 do. I've got some suspension to put on. Two more shots. Uh, Gary Pashley, those gold Dayton wire wheels looked on your Facebook post, Tim. Are they in the kit or aftermarket? Oh, they're aftermarket. They're from Pegasus uh, Hobbies. They uh, they do a lot of uh, different type of wheels. Go direct to their site and have a look around. Um, they are really good. Really good quality. Excellent. They make, they make quite a few different versions of those, those all Either gold centers with silver centers, um, blue, and there's quite a few colors on them. Check them out. If you want any um, stuff, give me a message. I'll, I'll send it to you. Over here. Yep, Tim's the man. Uh, Norwich, I haven't not to it in, but I. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but just booking my next Vegas trip for work and maybe stay and get the Villaggio this time. Oh, you know what? Well, good for you. No, that's cool. That's really cool. Sounds really boring. <laughs> Let me know when you go. <laughs> oh, literally every night I've been looking at it. What? <laughs> Vegas. Where's oh. that? If you keep looking at it, you know? 
Well, that's a rather dodgy conversation then. I look at it every night. Oh, wish it was bigger. <laughs> Too big. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> time for <guys> <laughs> Wait, I'm in. Mean, on. <laughs> oh, what a funny comment. I'm, je I'm jealous, Nigel. I'm very jealous. Uh, Simon Eyes, oddly enough, I've just ordered the 148 Hasekawa Stuka, the winter ski version from Hanans. Cracking price in clearance. I hope it will build well. It won't build bad. It's just no. old. It's, it's, an old, it's an older kit. It's showing its age, but it's still not a bad kit for its age. So don't but worry. It, it, it's, it's just a kit, though, isn't it? It's, it's just how much work a model is prepared to do to it. Yeah, it's, you'll make just, what you can make out of it, and it'll yeah. do absolutely fine. Can't bash a kit for it being bad. But you can, but... Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, I'll say, I'll, I'll, I wouldn't say it's a bad kit. It's just an old kit, so you'll need to put a bit more extra... Uh, a little bit more extra extra love. doing gaps and stuff like that. You have to give us some G love and special sauce. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> now it says we've hands that small, Ivan. <laughs> um, <laughs> Richard, stick a 45 degree. Uh, is it camber? Yeah. On nah, those wheels, Tim, turn it. it into a proper writer. No. Nah. That's, there's a there's a name for that and I cannot remember what the proper shite. Name. <laughs> shite. Uh no, it's Kobayashi, Kobayashi or something like that. It's called. That must be. Yeah, because you got the VIP guys. The VIPs are the big four doors with the big camber and uh, blacked out windows. They're called VIPs. And then there's then there's the Kobe Kobe something like that, and they're the guys that run the crazy camber. I mean, they they go camber past forty five. <laughs> it's weird looking, very weird looking wheels. But hey, that's the Japanese view. They always go to that far extent of their tuning. Looks very nice in primer. Yeah, yeah, that's look nice. <laughs> uh, Stephen, uh, no swearing in chat, please. Star Trek, Steve? Uh, no, uh, Stephen Thornton. Yeah. No, Steve. What's your swearing? I uh, just deleted it. Um, Bob says, How's the new chair, Paul? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, well, very comfy. Totally awesome. Totally awesome, dude. Yeah, no, that's, uh, not well. Uh, Tommy's off. Later, guys. Thanks for the giggles. See you later. Hello. Hello. Uh, Brian H, 148 for Hasegawa Stuka, uh, all versions for Excel the Earthfix kit by Miles. Mm. <laughs> Don't know that a Hasse one's knocking on a bit. Mm, uh, quite an age, that now. It looked a bit, when I had one, it, 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 it looked it's its age. Body. It looked its age. But, but the build, but it's, say the build might be just perfect on it, so. Nige says, looking good, Paul. Stealthy. Yeah. God, it does look good in the primer, though. Big old bird, isn't it? It is. In my hand. Big Very nice. That's a big hand. As far as you can see, I don't even bother um, spraying for seams now, I just prime it. Yeah. Build it as far as you can see, I've got one 
small c. Need your attention. Right there. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's sharp. Got the point of sharp. <laughs> that right now because what a fantastic primer. Damn straight away. Uh, Nigel says maybe the C Vix index ball. No, we don't want next. Yeah, been prime for like ten minutes on the edge. And what I've been trying out lately is that MRP filler. It seems to work well. Lovely stuff. Is it is it a filler line like um Gunzi type of uh well, it's some sort of lacquer base filler. Is it, is it a bit thicker than the Gunzi type of? Yeah, it looks thicker. Yeah, I can't describe it to be honest with you. Uh, Brian H says I've built all of them, and the Hasi Gower um, is the better kit. I've built dozens of both. Trust me, go with Hasi. You mm -hmm. built dozens of the brand new Airfix kit, Brian. It's only been out months. Yeah, it's only been, no, it's been out a month. Are you thinking the old one? Yeah, because it came out in January, didn't it? Yeah, if you think of the old one with the raised panel lines, and yeah, the has got hands down, but the Airfix got brand new on our Brian. Been out about a month, I think. There we go. Be impressive if you could build dozens in a month. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. <laughs> Aurora, uh, local hobby store, give uh, gave me ten dollar off fifty dollar kit. Um, what are some good ones in that range? So that'd be fifty. How much in pound? Thirty five uh, quid, about. What? Fifty dollars, that thirty five. It's probably different now. It's probably about forty five pound. About forty quid. Yeah. Uh, they have most Dragon Tamiya products. Uh, I I'm mostly into airplanes, but just finished my second armor kit. Enjoyed it. Cool. Uh, what could recommend in that price range? Just loads. Pretty much all the dragon range. Yeah. Yeah. Depends what you want to do. You want to, if you want to do armor, yeah. Most of the forty-eight Tamiya is in that range too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Bones, this is bizarre. Did you all know that UMP Primer buffs up to a nice shine? Yeah. yeah. Before, yeah. And uh, Sam K, hello, hello again. Hello, Sam. Uh, Stephen Thornton, what box number of uh, of me Earthix Stuka kit? Right, bear me a sec. I don't know what the box number of the new kit is. Right, it is. Right, John, he's in the chat. What is it, Ivan? It is. Uh, 807114. I've put it in chat just to be certain. There you go. Uh, yeah, sorry, Brian, Brian. Old Brian meant the old one. Yeah, that old one I built up, Brian. It's a, yeah, it goes together okay. The old Earth Fixed one's got raised panel lines, but I think the new one should be a vast improvement. Huh. Uh, so I just built I made a slight mistake and thought I would send. The other colour off, and all of a sudden I see, uh, I see where the primer starts getting shiny. Nice, indeed. And Stephen Thornton, thank you. You're very welcome. <clears throat> Eighty-two likes, two thumbs down. 83 views. Excellent. Found some tramadol. <laughs> Not a lie. Might not make sense in about half an hour, so I apologise. <laughs> now trouble being tested. Quarter past 11. 
So yeah, glad to get that to Primal. And then I want to start, it was just Sunday when I started this, I tell you what. Ah, oh, broke another one. Hmm. Not very good, is it? He broke a nail. Started uh, it on the nineteenth. That's about two weeks, isn't it? That's about that's yep. no, no, it's not even a week. Yeah, dude. Yeah, a week and two days. Today. Is it a week Sunday? Yeah. yeah. Today yeah. today. So like you haven't done that. We doing that two weeks. That's that's wow. this week. It's good going then. Yeah. Two weeks on Sunday, I'll be on it. Uh, yeah. I was thinking, I'm thinking, I'm sure you haven't been doing it for two weeks before. Huh? Must be going nuts. Plinton, off to walk the dogs and hit the sack. Good night, guys. Uh, Brian H says, uh, uh, Paul, does the UFX still come in? I don't know. Uh, ask Nige. Ginger, you need to me. Just been chatting with you there, Brian. Uh, Nige, if you can answer that key, that'd be awesome. It does, it does come with an engine. I don't know how much detail it comes with, though. I think it does come with an engine, though. Uh, Sergeant Bones going to use the olive green UMP primer for a Porsche, methinks. Uh, just now I may buff it up to a high shine instead of leaving it matte. Will be interesting to see that. How about that? I just like that. <clears throat> it looks jolly good, that. Scraped a bit of primer from the leaf where I've been resting it on stuff. Uh, Nigel says, yes, it comes with an engine. Mm -hmm. uh, option is engine on show or cowling. Uh, Scott Rice, hello to everyone. Hello, Scott. Hello, yeah, yeah, Scott. Yeah, one or the other. You don't get an option to have it removable later on. So I wish Pete would stop texting me. Sorry? Pete would like text me every other day. <laughs> Please come back. Please just burp. Eh? I'm going to no, listen to that back. Loose some plastic. So please come back. You can miss it back where you want, or No, it's right. Oh, fine. Uh, Brian H, any word of the review of the 148 uh, Kitty Hawk SU-17 yet? Yeah, the crap I don't uh, got mine yet. A review of the SU-17. Hasn't Matt done a, a build yeah. review? Oh, that's the build review. Yep. The all accounts, it looks a bit taunted. It, Yeah, it does. It looks giant. Christopher Matthews, does anybody know where I can get a 1 350th scale 2199 Starblazer Space Battleship Yamata? Japan cool? Uh, yeah, Japan cool. <laughs> Any place you go find them for things that are out of Japan? Yeah, Hobby Link Japan or Lucky Models. 1999, is it? 1999, yeah. Fortunately, there, you want it, you got to pay for it. There's, there's no easy or cheap way of getting all of them. Uh, Sankey, do you uh, do you have any advice on the Revel 148 B17 aftermarket, etc.? Hannans. I don't know. You said that far too fast. Me even start trying. Well, uh, that 148 B17 is a bit of a ropey kit as well. Yes, yeah, an old kit. But if, if you want aftermarket for it, go on Hannans. If you go on Hannans and find the kit and then click on the kit. It'll come up with all the aftermarket that's available for yeah, it. There's some good aftermarket. If you take your time, you can make it work really nice. You need to subscribe, I think, does it work, really? It does. So does a B24. Okay. That's the only 48 scale one there is. Yep. 
Yeah, Andrew Kurtz just said Duke's models on YouTube has a multi part review of the Kitty Hawk issue 17. He does indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, nothing. No, I really want it. No, that'll be some point. I've got a book on the 111. I do too. I don't. <laughs> I'll trade you my 111 <laughs> book for your. Uh, B17. Your C Vixen book. Oh. Um, Huh? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christopher Matthews, Lucky Models question or Hobby Tokyo question? Shall rule? Uh, Lucky Models, but if it says it's on back order, they don't bother ordering it. Hobby <laughs> Link Japan. David S. Can't believe there isn't a newer B17 in 148. I'm, I imagine eventually there might be. We're hoping. We're hoping. Well, it'd be nice to get a new B25, B17. Well, we're getting a 172, aren't we? New B25, but it's perfect again. It's like, well, we, we, we want the 148 stuff. Most people do. Uh, Brian H, monogram, mate, the HE111 in 148. Yeah, but... Damn it, old. It's, it's, yeah, it's damn, damn old. old. It, though, all those kits, the, that B24, the B25, they're all, they're all that same age. Old. Uh, Gary if you want to build it, buy it and build it. But I, I don't want to build an old crappy kit. No, nope. done it. Got the worn out T-shirt. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to build good kits. Yeah. That makes you a bad model. I couldn't give a rat's ass. Uh, Gary Pashley, ninety percent of the aftermarket for the one forty eight B seventeen G isn't available anymore. Valinden update all the Paragon stuff, etc. Yeah, it's too it's too old now to even think that they'd have that yeah. stuff. Sitting around waiting for people to buy it. Uh, Christopher Matthews, Hobby Link Japan, it is. Thank you. Richard's off to bed now, everyone. Sleep well. Hello, Richard. Hi, Rich. Uh, Brian H, I have two unbuilt kits of the 148 HE111. A new one is going to be lovely when it comes out. I'm looking forward to it because I love that aircraft. Yeah, it's a pretty looking aircraft. Andrew Callis, nobody got time for that. I agree. Stephen Thornton, question again. What was the best Lancaster bomber in 148? Oh! Uh, <laughs> and the most recent one. I, I, was, oh, I, was, actually, I, was, I was talking to my, the model club guys. Um, cause they're, they're quite knowledgeable in the old ones. And they're actually, you know, they know the old kits to the newest recent release kit. There's actually quite a bit of difference in them. I thought it, we always thought maybe it was just the canopy. No, there's re really parts. Yeah. Not the, not the horrible black plastic anymore. No, no, it's it's not just that it's the whole wings are, the wings are different. The, what wings are aren't different. It's the engines. The engines were a bit yeah, of a wrong the shape. Cells. Hey? And the cells are different. Yeah, so they that's yeah, that's I, the, I've got the new one. Yeah, that's the biggest change. Yeah. On it, I was like, ah, so I've got to check. I've got to have a look now. Got rid of a horrible black plastic as well. That's what I mean, it's like you know when you keep sending me links. Yeah, they're the old ones. Yep. Yeah, no, it's, I just what, what, teasing him, annoying him. It's it's just uh, twenty eight quid. I pay for mine. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Twenty eight <laughs> pound delivered for a Tamiya one forty eight black plastic, and it's in the completely updated version. Got it for a steal. Bargain. Cheaper half the price. David S. Completely agree about buying decent kits. If I wanted a fight, I'd go to a football match. Uh, mm -hmm. I built shitty kits when I had no money. I built, I built all the crappy kits and 172s and it's cheap and easy. And I don't want to do it anymore. I want to build nice, decent kits. I had three years of building crap. Brian H., uh, no... There are no, they are. No, there are no. They have recessed panel lines, etc. It's not that old of a kit. It's really good. The 148th monogram HE 111 is on par with Revels 148th F15. Yeah, okay. Well, apart from what you've been telling me about the F15. Does it look okay? Yeah. Because yeah. I was going to get the Great Wall Hobby, but then you said get the F15 instead. Uh, the uh, <laughs> Revel one instead.
Uh, Gary Prashley, the 148th HE111 is an early 90s vintage, came out the same time as the PBY. It's why I love scale, mates. So you can check all this stuff. Sergeant Wells, Tim, you play Need for Speed? Um, no, my boy does, though. We were playing it the other day. I think it means the most recent one. Uh, I just assume so, yeah. They've been going for years, Need for Speed. Yeah, we were playing it on um, PlayStation, the most recent one. It's actually really quite a good game. I've been playing Fever Pinata. Don't care what anyone says, it's a good game. Yeah, you're right. That game gets difficult. No eight year old could complete it. You don't make yourself sound any better there, right? <laughs> not a fight for it's not a fight for your calls there. Yeah. Sergeant Bones figured uh, figured Tim did because he's uh, such um he's such a modder for his car. Yeah. Uh, Nige says his lad plays Need for Speed Rivals. I prefer uh, Forza. Man, that's old. Eh? No, they've they got a new Forza. New games out. For, yeah, Forza, for, yeah, there's a new game of Forza out. I'm saying there's Need for Speed Rivals. That's an old game. Oh, the, oh yeah. I like Need for Speed Drift. No, that wasn't very good. That's fine. I didn't like that one. Well, it was about drifting. About drifting? <laughs> no, no, I just didn't. I just didn't get along with the game. Just, just couldn't get the. Ah, uh, you couldn't play it. Yeah, I, I, but I'll be totally honest. I just, yeah, I could never, never got along with that one very well. Stop. I was an old PlayStation <laughs> boy, really. Yeah. The old uh, Gran Turismo to just play that endlessly. Yeah, it's a good game. Like original PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> no, he says he's cheap, and he tells him it's brand new. Sergeant Bones, I like to mod the cars in game. I actually modded my car to the way I ended up playing and making it in real life years later. Very oh, cool. <laughs> Bob Bobbington used to play a weird of war crap. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, Matt 58, Gran Turismo. Yeah. Uh, Nazid, Paul, question. Uh, the locating holes for the wheels for the struts, are they nice, tight fit? Uh, the Canberra has one too shallow. The wheel kind of hangs there. Had to drill it out. Oh, perfect. Uh, perfect. Cracking. <laughs> Mama. I shall be back in a brief second. Be brief. John Hebron says nice wheels, Tim. Thank you, thank you, John. Good yeah, I'm very glad I actually went for the gold bits in the end. Once you're sure about them and they turn up, I was like, oh no, that was a good choice. Yeah, I think Rich, Rich's uh, ISM pimp my ride, I think it might, might be quite a good thing for later on, maybe later on in the year, maybe if I want to do a Maybe a car mod build. Mm. Can't can't be factory, can't be stock.
میشه هستی خیلیت نزید بای One saying SDKFZ recommendations. It's probably Trumpy. Uh, what? Um, Half track. Seven ton track. One. Which which one though? Because you got the uh, AFE clubs for the two five ones. You got all the dragons two five ones ain't too bad. Uh, actually. On the sevens, the big seven half tonners. Seven, no, seven's in between, but yeah, Trump is for a seven, yeah. Yeah, it's not a two five one though. No, it's that's a that's the half track like prime mover, the one below the famo. I built the Trumpy one a while back, it's good, yeah, very good kits. They are very good kits. I think I do think AFE did some sort of. Seven oils. I've got a chunky one, John. The uh, the artillery. Oh god, the flak. Uh, that was a while back, that weren't it? Yeah, the flak forty three one, I think it was. Oh yeah, uh, great kit. Yeah, the armored one. Very nice. As um, <clears throat> I saw me answering the questions. Uh, we're up to. Yes, DK said. Didn't read Nizid's comment about VR and didn't read Scott's. And, uh, one of those Ooh, right. So you read the VR? No. Right, I'll read the VR. Uh, my wife was testing out VR equipment at work. Yeah, what a job. I'd love to do that. Uh, trying the, Zo uh, the Sony and the uh, HoloLens stuff. It's the next thing for gaming, apparently. They are pouring billions into it. Yeah, they are. Every game you see now on YouTube, they're all doing it by, by VR. And usually it's like horror games and jump scares. And it's, the reaction it gets from viewers is mental. So I, I, I agree, because not as they've even got like pool games and flight sims and shooters. It's just the way it's going. It's not cheap, though. Not cheap at all. <laughs> Uh, Scott Rice just finished the uh, Tamiya P47D Thunderbolt. Uh, that was a fun kit to build. Now I have a choice between the F6F3 Hellcat or the Fockwolf 190A8R2. By the way, Ivan, you're a smashing job at reading tonight. Thank you very much. He is doing a good job, isn't he? Cheers. He was all worried. He was a, you were a little bit worried, weren't you, Ivan? But you've done a good, doing a good job, dude. I, I, I start reading words out even there. I know you. I knew you would do a good job. Thanks. I even told you that. <laughs> gay? <laughs> That's right. If being nice is gay, then I'm gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, are the, the, the kits you're building, the Fock Wolf or the Hellcat, are the Edward kits? Or... I'd, li I'd like to know because then I might have a two cents on the situation. Uh, and as it's up to bed night, fellas, see you Friday slash Saturday. Goodbye. Uh, John Hebburn, SDK have said seven recommendations. You've oh, answered. He says the eight turn. Ah, the eight turn. Quite cool. <clears throat> uh, does anyone know where I can get high density foam board for diorama base construction? Okay. High density uh, foam board for base diorama base construction. Yes. Yeah. A bin. 
What? A bin. That's where I always get my. Build that, yeah, builders skip. Oh. That is the best place and the cheapest place you'll find. Seriously, go, go to m most most build builds nowadays use high density foam for insulation. Oh. So it's quite seriously go see go around your local skips when they're doing the builds and you'll find just chunks of it. Drops it drops everywhere. Um uh, cool, you just answered that. Uh Christian Matthews, by the uh by the way, update I finally found the interior colours for my one forty eighth trumpeter fuck wolf two hundred uh C four condor. That's a big aircraft that. Yeah. So my interior work has started. Excellent. Really? Uh, it also said I find the Tamiya SDKF Zs to be good. Excellent. Which who's whose ones? Uh, Tamiya's. Yeah, the the they're, they're, they're... SDK SEDs are quite getting their age now, though. They're quite um, low on detail compared to what you get in a trumpeter kit now. Mm. Just having a quick look on Scalmates to see what's one of the best ones. Yeah. Uh, hmm. There's very few armour pieces I am even interested in nowadays, but uh, we shall see. Uh, John Hebbard says cheers for the recommendations. Uh, Scott Rice, both the red wild kits, right? It was, it was SDK said uh, eight, wasn't it? He was talking about the eight, the eight, eight tons. Yeah, eight. Uh, Scott, right? I don't. I've not built either of them, but having looked on the spruce, <laughs> the Hellcat. Well, Paul, you built two Hellcats, didn't you, for Telford? Those Hellcats are awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it turned out really nicely. And Andreas has built the fucker wolves. Yeah, on those. Yeah, I've heard they can be a bit. Some people say they're great, some people say they're awful. Yeah, but I've heard nothing but good things about the Hellcats. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd, I'd say do a Hellcat because they're quite a big kit as well. Once they're built up in one forty eight, they're not small. Although you, you kind of expect them to be. Yeah, I'd, I'd say do a Hellcat. I'd like to see a Hellcat. I like it in the uh, uh, F. AA scheme. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'll be doing for the group uh, build. And then for warring weather, I'll just uh, do my Earthix Hurricane. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I've been saving it for that build. Yes, yeah, so, so that one, that the, the SDKFZ you were doing, Paul, was actually the 7. Uh, it's a slightly smaller version, so they did that with a prime mover, a cargo, flak, uh, quite different variations of flak. For an eight, there doesn't seem to be. I'll see it. There we go. So, Trumpeter eights are definitely worth getting. 2012 kit. They did a 12 ton heavy half track, which is a prime mover. So, you get crew, crew seats, artil uh, room at the back for artillery shells. That would be towing a large gun. They do a different version, which houses, uh, which is a fully armoured, but again with tow like an 88 millimeter behind it. Uh, and then they do another version, which has got actually got an 88 millimeter on the back of it. Uh, they are well worth mm -hmm. to get coming up, and they got an SD, and they got an 8 DB9, which will be a famo coming out at some point this year. Oh. It'll be a full famo. Uh, Christopher Matthews uh, looking at getting the Edward 132P47. With that, you are paying a lot for the artwork. Where you can buy the kit for how much? Like the P47 Trumpy kit. Is it a Trumpy kit or is it a Hassie kit? Hassie. Hassie. See, you could. Because hmm, you want to get resin wheels, don't you? So. In photo etch. Oh, yes, yeah, so, yeah, you get photo etch. I don't know. I thought for how much they were charging originally. I thought they could have <clears throat> they could have put a bit more in the box, but it's that artwork, isn't it? That a lot of the money goes on. Don't get me wrong, I would buy it <laughs> if if I had the money to. Uh, David S just bought the Edward Sherman. Then I found out it was a rebox of the Tasker kit. Lucky me. Yeah, it's not bad kit. Not bad kit at all. Bad kit's an awesome kit. Mhm. Mm yeah, they are. I've heard brilliant things about them. Uh -huh. 
Uh, Scott Rice, I'll start with the Hellcat then first. Yeah, yeah I think you'll enjoy that build. Uh, John, how about Tim? Did you just say trumpeter? Yes. Trumpeter. If you if you want, some, uh, right. I'll get, let me quickly scroll down. So if you if you get, if you try and have a pen to hand, I'll give you a second. So you there's three different variations of the same kit to doing pretty much the same jobs uh, on the number eight. So you've got the basic prime mover is zero one five eight three. Next one's zero one five eight four, and the third is zero one five eight five. They're the three different variants that Trump to do on the SDKFZ eight. Excellent. Uh, that was, um, Scott Rice, uh, do any of you use Easy Line for anything? What? Antennas? Very useful stuff. I'm yet to get some, and it's something I kind of really need, and I've just not bought it for some reason. I think it's because when I look at what you get and the price, but then it's like, well... It lasts you forever. I was about to say, it's not like you're going to run out anytime soon, so it's a kind of one purchase thing, isn't it? I think yeah. you could, in my head, I keep thinking I'm going to have to keep refilling it. But... <laughs> no chance. Uh, Impatient Tundra, hello. Uh, I just bought the Tammy Rebox of the Tasker Easy 8. Very excited to get it. Cost me £20, which seemed like a decent price. That's a very good price. That's a very good price. Very, very good price. Very, very, very good price. Oh, you got the Tammy Rebox there? Yeah. yeah. That's a collector's kit, man. Collectors. Keep all of it. Never build it. For Emmett. Uh, Nige, Easy Line is great for antenna lines with uh, my limited experiences. Or is it lilted? Like, like, yes. Like lilt. Lilt. Oh, I love lilt. Mm, oh. do, do you know, have you tried uh, lilt zero, Ivan? No. Oh, dude, it's very nice. It's not as good as it used to test. I'll tell you, back in no, there. No. Yeah. Now, lilt zero, very different taste to normal lilt, but what it does taste like, very, very nice. You'd like, mm. I think that's a drink you'd actually like. Really? Oh, I'll see what I want. A Mal bit of Malibu in with that. <laughs> Andrew Kelly says Tasker Sherman, thumbs up. Uh, David S. Uh, aircraft antenna wire, easy line is awesome for it. Uh, Scott Rice, <laughs> thank you. I will get some then. Excellent. Uh, John Hebon, cheers, Tim. Uh, easy line is fantastic. Ushi, Ushi does some great scale stuff too. Not seen that one either. Yeah, it's uh, uh, from what I could see, it looks like easy line reboxed, uh, re to be honest. But. Mm. Yeah, same, same, same stuff, same idea, same works. David S bought the master box airborne troopers that go on the Sherman. Uh, going to make a diorama of the scene from Band of Brothers Operation Market Garden. That'd be cool to see. Julio, RJ Pilot, uh, agree, great stuff. And Nigel's not sure how much I paid, but you get thirty meters of the stuff before stretch. Oh well, you do get plenty then, don't you? Wouldn't you? Yeah. I don't think you got that much. And Matt fifty eight dinner time. Catch you later. See you later, Matt. Bye, Matt. <laughs> Quarter to twelve. Where's the night gone? <laughs> Uh, Nigel, it was limited experience and not limited. <laughs> Don't do tropical drinks. Totally there's, a, there's always time for a cocktail. Uh, impatient to everyone have pancakes today? I had a few. Yeah. They were all right. The pancakes I tried to cook were terrible. He also more like Papa Dom's, like Dan said. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. They're, they, they're, oh, you should have seen what was left sitting on the side by my sink. It didn't. It didn't go well. It I didn't. Can imagine. I tried making them thick. That didn't work. I tried making them thin. That didn't work. So I resorted to the stuff that comes in a pack. You get in the bag. You know, the, like you buy them pre-made. Oh, the pre-made mix. No, no, no. Just fully pre-made. Oh, oh just, just, just literally like uh, it, like back formed. 
Pancake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've had them as well. They're not awful. No, no, not they're not too bad. I, I heated them up in the pan, so they got a bit, a bit crispy around the edges. So I thought I'll at least try and give it some sort of a feeling that it's up, some sort of pancake. You know um, what? I've, yeah. I've got to be honest. I didn't have pancakes. I, I like Sergeant Bond said, I had crepes. <laughs> That's such a tip. Crepe with Nutella. Mm, yum. I, I cheese cheese every American pancakes. Me yum, too. Yum. Uh, John Hebon, how's the Earthix coming together, Paul? Awesome, mate. Awesome. Paul Prines, put you on Facebook. Oh, Christopher Matthews, we're having bangers and mash tonight. That sounds bloody lovely. You get some old, you get caught driving, you get six points now. I'm not going to lie, I love that. Yep. Should be using yeah, I love that rule, and like, because my sister's one for doing it as well, and I'll tell her. I'm like, you know what? I nearly swore then. Um, it's good to bring this in. I know too many people who play with the phone while they're driving, and people say I'm boring and square, but it's like, well, don't no, use no, your phone no, while you drive. You know, the amount of people I will, I'll be driving behind them in the mornings, and you'll see they'll be sitting there with their eyes down and be driving along. Yeah, blatantly I'll, 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 I'll spot them, and I'll wait till they put their head down. Bang on the horn, you see. Oh. Oh, you know, he's watching. Because you see him panic then, don't you? It's like, well... Get off your phone. Yeah, simple, isn't it? Don't do it while you're driving. Any distraction is a distraction. And they give you those little... Mm, mm. Well, get off your phone. Mm. I don't care if you were just changing songs. Listen to it radio. You were just crashing. Yeah. Nigel says, Aunt Bessie's? Question mark. Do you know what? I looked no. for some of them. Couldn't see any. No. Uh, Scott Rice, Paul, how is that new chair of yours? Awesome. Absolutely beautiful chair. Comfy as hell. I love it. Uh, John Hebon, lemon syrup or Nutella? Uh, Nutella for me. Lemon syrup. Lemon and uh, lemon sugar. I've got two options. Nutella or orange juice. What's orange juice? What? Like, just uh, you put a tad of sugar on top and just squeeze an orange on it. It's supposed to be lemon, I'm... No, on honestly, I do it with orange juice. Okay. Uh, it it's really good. Well, you are very wrong in life. You're wrong. Your family oh. let you do this. My family, I run the family. <laughs> Bob Hamilton says, I'm totally glad you know, it's just not about this. <laughs> <laughs> She'll agree. Uh, draw dog. My wife said I have to stop sniffing and take her out for dinner. Cheers. Toodaloo. Enjoy your dindins. Have to stop doing what? Stop sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Wrong sort of hang up. Yeah. Uh, Stephen says here you can run people over crossing the road while they're listening to music or texting, and it's their fault. <laughs> and what country is that I'm moving there now? <laughs> uh, John Hebon shouts, "Orange juice!" Yes, exactly, John. This is what we have to put up with. Every... Have to put up with. This is why I'm getting so much grief. I you get so be... much grief because everybody hates me. I feel very attacked. Revelations every day. <laughs> mm. <Random Ha>. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, Northern Swedes girl models. Damn you guys, still going? Evening crew. Evening, Stefan. Yeah. Hello, Stefan. We don't stop, Stefan. We don't stop. <laughs> Nige, Nutella, squirty cream, and strawberries. Sounds like my type of evening. Yeah. What are you doing in the prom? You're going to bed all up. <laughs> yeah, like Ivan's kind of you. Indubitably. Ah, Stephen's from Australia. Good eye. Oh, right. dear. <laughs> you know what you say to me about doing accents? I was about to say, my accents aren't as bad as yours, though. Your northern sounds made up. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ring that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gary Pashi, right? I'm done, guys. See you all Friday. See you Friday. Hey, Gary. Being a chance to win the prizes. Bananas and squizzy cheese. Ugh. Oh no. Oh dear. I thought Ivan was wrong. Jeez. <laughs> Everyone said, that's sick, Bob. <coughs> I 
It's the Phoenix Club. Yeah, impatient to the cheese. What's wrong with you? Well, do you know what though? When I when it was in France, when I was a kid, used to go to the crepe uh, place down at the front of the quay, and you could get whatever you wanted in there. And what, what they used to do is ham and cheese. It was lovely, really, really nice. But that's in a crepe. Oh dear! Not squeeze. A garlic pancake. Oh God, no. Garlic? Who the hell just said that? John Hepburn. Garlic pancake. Oh dear. Oh. oh that's just. Garlic sad. bread. Garlic. Bread. <laughs> David S. Bananas and Cheese must be pregnant or pargant. <laughs> you pargant. Am I pregnant? <laughs> Christopher Matthews, okay, I'm just going to say this. Uh, never use cheese whiz as a cheese base for pasta. <laughs> really? How, how long have you known this? <laughs> Why have you not shared this with us before? Ivan could have been corrected many times over. <laughs> are you? Are you? Would you eat che cheese whiz? Oh, I don't even know what cheese whiz is. I'm going to with that chat, Ivan. We are completely. Yeah, I'm just following it as it comes up. Hey, what? I'm going to call it a night. Hey, mate. Right. So, there we go, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Uh, thanks for commenting in the chat. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you all on Friday. Okay, it's Friday's normal show. What we've been building, buying, some kit releases. Prize giveaways, uh, Q and A with you guys. Make sure to tune in from half seven UK, half eight Europe, and one hundred and thirty Central US. Uh, as always, go check out the forum in scalemodler.com. It's actually scalemodler. Check out the Facebook page, the same name. Check out umpretail.com. Check out ISM Live at the Bench. And you're on the channel now, so give us a subscription. Uh, give us a sub, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment if you're watching back, and uh, let us know what you think. So we will see you all on Friday. So until then, take care. Bye bye. Good evening. Good evening. Bye bye.